Welcome to Munchkin Land, a show where we sit around and we play games. And this week, Dr. Brad Will is here with me. Hey. And we are going to take on uh, Arkham Horror, the living card game. And uh, Brad, you and I have been playing this for a while. We've burned through the entire um, Night of the Masks or whatever that horrible... Yeah. first session was, kind of so, beat us up a little bit. It was horrible, we were terrible. And I've been having a lot of fun with this game, and so I thought we would go ahead and jump into uh, one of the side quest games, not part of the main campaign that you get when you get uh, um, the base game and the Dunwich Legacy. The There are two print-on-demand mm -hmm. uh, games, and the one that we're going to play is Night of the Rougarou. Okay. Werewolves in New Orleans. And the Ooh. swamps and all that stuff. <laughs> so this should be kind of cool. So uh, because this is a side game for us, um, we are using characters that we don't normally play. So we built a whole new um, deck up for those uh, characters. So I'm going to be playing Ashcan Pete. And Brad, who are you going to be Well, playing? since we're in New Orleans, I had to play Jim Culver. Oh, the trumpet player guy. The trumpet player from New Orleans. So okay. he's hometown hero here. And we're also playing on standard mode, which is kind of a kick-ass mode that we've kind of fa found out in in playing well, some of the other kick, games. Kick our asses mode. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, we've got some minus fives and minus sixes in this game. Yeah. And um, um, the other thing that we did is uh, the standalone game suggests that we um, allow our characters to be leveled up. And so with this deck building game or a living card game like this, uh, we can swap in and out cards. Uh, we followed the rules for that. So we each had nine points, uh, nine experience points that we could use to buff up our character. So hopefully they will last through this adventure. You're a little tougher than, than the starter guys. Now, some people don't know what this game is all about, Brad. Can you give us a quick rundown of what Arkham Horror, a living card game, is all about? Well, it's, it's like a collectible card game, except you buy all the cards. You just have to be buying the cards every month. A little pack comes, and, mm -hmm. and you get all the cards, so your collection is the whole collection. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is just a little adventure game. So uh, in, the, in the spirit, uh, if not exactly the mold of Call of Cthulhu, we play intrepid investigators who are trying to uh, solve, usually solve a mystery. Uh, and, and the storyline kind of takes... I think a pretty good, uh, I don't know, it makes a pretty good recreation of a mystery to solve. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, because it gives you things that we have to do, things that we have to accomplish. As investigators, we're looking for these little clue tokens, and mm -hmm. based on the number of clues that we have or things that we've completed in our quest, we will advance to different acts in this, in this story. So yep. we have an agenda deck... Which, which is tells always, the story. Yeah, that's the well, that's sort of the bad side. And mm -hmm. the agenda advances through a mechanic called Doom, and so Doom acquires on our cards and and on uh, on the the agenda card there. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we get a certain amount, then bam, the agenda kicks in and things get worse. And hopefully, we were going to going to complete the act deck. Yeah, uh, this one that we're playing tonight has two acts in it, which means hey, that could be some good things. I hope. Yeah. Um, so the game progresses in a series of turns. First we start in the investigator phase and each of us are allowed to perform three actions. We can spend resources to buy things from our hand and put them into play. We can look for clues. We can move to different locations. We can fight the monsters that will inevitably appear and try to kill us and they're gonna kill us. Yeah. Well. Uh, and then following our turns uh, and uh, the unfortunate thing, or maybe the fortunate thing, is we each have to complete our three actions. So I have to do my three actions before Brad can do his three actions. Uh, after that, we move into the monster phase, and the monsters get a chance to do stuff based on what their cards say. And then we move into an upkeep phase where we reset kind of a lot of things that are going on on the board, and then we get into the mythos phase where this horrible encounter deck cleans our clocks. Yeah, it's terrible. It's really, yeah. really terrible. Now, the thing that's that's cool about this is if you're familiar with the other uh, Arkham games from Fantasy Flight, a lot of the symbols, ideas, characters especially, are all going to be very familiar to you. So if you've played Eldritch Horror, Arkham Horror, Elder Sign, what am I missing from them? I think that's all of them, right? That's probably it. Yeah. That's enough. Oh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Mansions of Madness. Oh, Mansions of Madness. Yeah, that was a fun game that we've played. A lot of these characters appear in there, and um, you know the the health symbols and the insanity symbols are all the same. The clue tokens uh, are very familiar to you. So as we go through this game, uh, I think you're going to see a lot of similarities, and and hopefully discover why this is a game that Brad and I have been playing for months now. 
yeah. and really, really enjoy the heck out of. So uh, we have our, our uh, game set up as the instructions have told us, and we are starting here in uh, New Orleans Bayou. Black storm clouds loom above you, watching patiently as you trudge through the bayou, bayou, their shapes twist and churn in the night sky, blotting out the skies. Now there's some other information on the back of this text that we'll get to in a moment. And the way that this one is set up, we can move from the bayou to New Orleans, and we have the ability to move back and forth between basically all three of these as our characters move around the board. Now there's some other locations that'll come into play in a moment, but we'll get, in, get to that. Okay. But first, we probably ought to set up this story, right? Yeah, and I know next to nothing about this, by the way. Yeah, neither do I. I only know it because I watched a setup video on how to properly set it up because there was a, <laughs> there was a, um, a phrasing in how, because there's actually a lot more locations than this, and in right. the instructions, you have to put one of the uh, locations out of the game completely to randomize it, hmm. and then you have to, I, I think then randomly you pick the one that you're going to start in, so okay. my son helped me pick all the random numbers oh, good for, for this. And so there's two locations that are still out of play. There's a whole monster deck that's out of play right now. There's some assets that are out of play right now. They'll all come in when the game tells us to. Oh, great. Yeah. So Terror Grips New Orleans. Minnie Klein, your contact at the Arkham Advertiser, has shipped, uh, slipped you a draft of the article over a cup of coffee at Velma's Diner. It would have gone to print had Doyle Jeffries, the lead editor, not scoffed at the concept. I believe his exact words were, I ain't printing the ravings of some voodoo lunatic and passing it off as news, she explained. From the sly grin spreading across her face, you could tell she smelled a story. The headlines were sensationalized. Three killings on, in nine days was enough to spook the town. But, uh, but you doubt all of New Orleans is gripped by terror or even knows about the killings. Still, something piqued your interest. Lady Esprit, the voodoo priestess from the article, claimed that a malign curse had taken root in the bayou. There's something to this, isn't there? I know that look, Minnie said. You weren't sure. If Lady Esprit was right, the Rougarou would stop killing at three. Wouldn't stop killing at three, that's for sure. But curses? Wolf people? How could such things be real? Only one way to find out. You put on your coat and head for the north side station. And then down to New Orleans. Dun, dun, dun. So the back of this car. So that's a lot. So this is a really tiny printing on these cards. <laughs> so that's a lot. For and we're really old guys. Yeah, yeah. So there's some setup instructions on the back, which we've already followed. Okay. So I will set that aside. Uh, these, this pile right here, which you may not be able to see on this camera, is what happened. That what we will read if and when we finish this game. Oh, we'll finish the game. Yeah. So we're going to start here in the bayou. Okay. Brad, why don't you read our uh, agenda deck and our act deck so that we know where we're going? A creature of the bayou. After arriving in New Orleans, the next day you start your investigation by asking the locals what they know of the recent killings. As you suspected, most know very little of the incidents. You manage to find several eyewitnesses who give similar descriptions of the creature, its lithe muscular form, lanky arms, and wolf-like visage. A promising start. But if there's any truth to the rumors about this curse, you'll have to talk to Lady Esprit herself. Okay. And we need uh, five, five doom, doom that tokens. will advance. All right. Uh, act one, finding Lady Esprit. According to your contact, Lady Esprit is a voodoo priestess who lives deep within the bayou. Most tend to stay clear of her lonely shack. After all, the bayou can be a dangerous place, even were it not for the recent rash of savage killings. Our objective, only investigators at a bayou location may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. So how many clues is that? One per investigator. So, oh, so only, only two clues. Only That's two not too clues. bad. Yeah. All right. So here we are in the swamp, and I'll turn this card over. Well, what's the uh, what's the flavor text? Oh, I read that already. Did uh, you? Oh. Black storm clouds loom, loom above you, uh, watching patiently as you trudge through the bayou. Their shapes twist and churn in the night sky, blotting out the stars. Swamp at night. What could go wrong? Yeah. Uh, okay. So this uh, card, Cursed Shores, it has a shroud of one. No clues at this location. As an action, take one damage. You get plus two to your skill value for the next skill test you make this turn. So you can take a damage and get plus two to your skill value. That's four. weird. Well, 
Forced, when you leave Cursed Shores, choose and discard a skill card from your hand. So when we leave the bayou, every time we leave here, we have to drop a, a, uh, a skill card from our hand. Weird. Yeah. So speaking of hands, Let's we're going to start the game with five cards. And ideally, we want to have what? We want to have something that will... Yeah, you're going to want some, some assets of some sort. I have plenty of assets. And we also started with five resources. And Brad, I've got a resource bowl there for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, and we also need to pick a lead investigator. The lead investigator doesn't mean that this person always goes first. Uh, but the lead investigator is there to make decisions on um, what do we do in a tie, um, where we should go as a group, those kinds of things. So, Brad, do you want to be the lead investigator sure. for this game? Sure. Since Jim is a hometown guy, there you go. We'll do that. Yeah. I'm going to... Pete, and my dog Duke is with me. All right. So that's a that's a plus. Now Duke is a an interesting character uh, because um, I can attack using Duke. Uh, and deal an extra damage with him. And I can in, in exhaust Duke to investigate an area, uh, and I get a base skill of four for my, uh, what is it, my lore, my Your intellect. intellect? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's a pretty cool yeah. thing. So Duke can Help sniff, sniff around. out the clues. Oh, good old And Duke. then because we were upgrading our characters, uh, I went ahead and upgraded to one of the permanent skills, uh, or permanent assets, which is Scrapper. Uh, which has two fast actions. Spend one resource, you get a plus one for this skill test. Or spend one, another fast action is spend one resource, you get plus one to agility for this skill test. Mm. And those are not one use only. So if I had like five resources to spend, I could boost up all of those. Yeah. Yeah. So. You want to know what my permanent is? What's that? Blood Pact. Ooh. Yeah. Scary. It is scary. You're not going to like it. Okay. Now, is I, this one that you had to have? Uh, this is, no, no, this is one that I wanted to have. Okay. Yeah, this one allows me to, uh, I can get plus three for my willpower, or I can get plus three for my combat ability. Ooh. Uh, but the price I pay is that I put a Doom token on Blood Pact. Oh, no. Yep. I hate this already. Yeah, I know. I knew you would. So here's the other thing to keep in <laughs> mind as you're watching this. Um, because this is a uh, deck-building game, uh, there are many, many expansions that come out for this. Um, for like the Dunwich Legacy, there are um, you know, about a six or seven as, at the time of this recording that have come out. And the cards that we use in our hands are not separated by, I mean, not easily separated by this one goes to this story, this one goes to this story, whatever. So when we open those, we, and I'm guessing a lot of the other people that play Arkham Horror, also assume that we can draw from any of those cards in the pile. So yours yeah. is actually from one of the brand new ones that was just released as of this recording, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, those are buried in okay. there. Yeah. So we're not, using, like those. we're not using stock decks. And actually, uh, the characters that we're playing tonight are not from the stock um, uh, Arkham Horror game, but rather the Dunwich Legacy expansion. So right. just kind of keep those in mind as, as we're playing through. So I'm going to mulligan three cards. Okay, so you had three cards you didn't like, so yep. you're ditching those and picking three more. Picking three new ones. Okay. Oh, I like those a lot better. All right, so I will shuffle these back in here. And um, I guess my action is first, huh? Uh, if you want, if you want to. So I take it that so, so all three of these are connected, connected. interconnected, yeah. and and not complicated in any right. kind of way. All right, 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 right. right. Then I. Uh, I'm going to go from the Cursed Shores, the New Orleans Bayou. I'm going to go to another location in the city. Okay. Remember, you have to ditch a card. I have to ditch a skill card. Oh, oh ditch a skill card. Shoot. Well, that's going to be annoying because... If you have a skill card, right? Because well, if might... you don't have a skill card, what if you have all assets? Oh, what if I do have a skill card, but I don't want to ditch it? Oh, well. Well, uh, put it in, can you put it, oh, I guess you can't put it into play, can you? No, nah, it doesn't Darn do anything. It. All right, I will have to discard Fearless, uh, which adds a willpower token, but also if the skill test is successful, heal one horror. That would have yeah, been a good that's one. That's too bad. Yeah. Well, oh, maybe wow. we'll burn through these uh, cards really quickly. So. All right, I'm going to Broadmoor, New Orleans. Uh, this is a resign action. Uh, we can't catch the beast. You make your way to safety, letting the beast roam free. 
People are just now beginning to settle what began as an untamed marsh. Truth is, some evils run too deep to exercise that easily. So I'll go milling around Broadmoor. The, sh the uh, shroud there is three, okay. and there are two clues, one per investigator. Thank you. So that was my first action was the move. Okay. So a th th uh, shroud of three, if we're investigating, that means that we have to beat that number based on our intellect, right? Right. Okay. And right now, my intellect is three, so I would be um, even. Yeah, but we've got like some bad tokens. I've only got like set. a 33% chance of uh, getting this right. So I'm going to... Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, there are yeah. a couple of ways we can boost our base. Uh, some might have attributes uh, based on the cards that we have in play, like spend a resource or exhaust this card or something like that. Or these uh, cards that we have in our hand have little symbols on them, and we can discard these cards and use the number of symbols that we have on the card to increase that skills test that we're wanting to use. So for example, if I had a card uh, like Flashlight, for example, mm -hmm. which has one intellect token or symbol on it, I could then boost my intellect by one for this skills challenge. But I lose that card. It has to go to my discard pile. So here's the thing, Steve. Okay. <coughs> Jim Culver mm -hmm. lives dangerously. Does he? Well, he has this magic trumpet. When he plays the magic trumpet, he can speak to the dead. Okay. And he lives, you know, he lives on the fringe. He lives on the edge okay. of, of what is All know, right, normal if you say so. Not, right? So Jim could get those two clues for us. But it, it involves a but risk. It, now, you're going to use your blood pact or no, something? No, I'm going to use my blood pact. It's maybe even a little worse than that. Oh, that's um, not good. Well, so here's the thing. Now, do you want me to, would you like, would you like Jim to, to, Evoke the dark arts, or no, invoke the dark to... arts, and just, just get those two. Just get those two clues. We advance the act immediately. Yeah, I mean that probably would be a bad wanna, thing. Or do you want to bring old Duke up here and have him sniff out these clues? Well, I have a bunch of things that I could do to find clues, but I can only get one clue. Is all I can do. Okay. So it would either be better for you to gain one clue or to get both of the clues. I'm going to clean them all out with my second my second action. Okay. All right, I'm going to play the event Drawn to the Flame. And that co costs how much? Uh, it costs nothing. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. Except that I have to draw the top card of the encounter deck. Oh. Spectral Mist. A hazard. Revelation. Attached to a bayou location. Limit one per location. Each skill test performed at attached location gets plus one difficulty. As an action, someone there can test lore at uh, two to disrupt the source of the mist. If you succeed, discard spectral mist. Okay, well, so the cursed no... shores are engulfed in a spectral mist now. So, and how do we get rid of it? Uh, test lore at uh, two. Yeah, but you know, there's nothing there that we have to. It's not really hurting us. So I then get to discover the two clues at my location. And then shall I spend them? Uh, you have to go to a bayou location. I have to go to a bayou location? You have to, to come down here to do it. All right. Well, I will just... I'm going to have to lose another skill card if I have one, but mm -hmm. I don't have one now. And this uh, spending is not an action. It's just as... Okay. Um, well, as my second action. I'll go down to the bayou. So first action was to move up. Second action was to get uh, the... Be drawn to the flame and... And then your the, third action is to move back to the bayou. And I will spin the clues. All right. Go ahead and advance the act. All right. Finding Lady Esprit's shack is no simple endeavor, but eventually you spot the decrepit shanty through the mist. Lady Esprit greets you as you enter, not at all surprised by your intrusion. She claims that the Rougarou was once a man cursed by a being knowing, known as Shabnigarath. Oh, no. Into the form of a great wolf. She believes that she can lift the Rougarou's curse from the bayou, but only if the creature is destroyed. Put the set aside Lady Esprit into play at a bayou location. All right. So while I'm doing that, here she is. All right. At a bayou location. All right. Put into play each set aside location. All right. So here we have Brackish Waters and they are all attached to here. So I'm just going to put this one. 
here. Okay. And this one has kind of the same thing going for it. Um, let's see. So this one can connect to here. Uh, let's see. It can connect to here. Oops. The foul swamp. Okay. Oh, I see. So, so these three are like the hub, mm -hmm. and then each of the hubs has two sort yeah. of subordinate locations. Yeah, something like that. All right. All right. If I've set that up correctly. All right. And you can tell because of the dots that they have. Yeah. Uh, the symbols that they have at the bottom tell you where they can connect to. So, for example, this one connects to these two. This one can only connect uh, to each other and back to this one. This one connects to here. And that's it. Yep. Okay. So it's a triangle with these three mm -hmm. and then sub triangles. Yeah. Okay. Got yep. it. All right. Put the set aside Rougarou enemy into play at any non Bayou location. Ooh. The Rougarou is already out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Set aside Rougarou, huh? Well, you didn't the set aside the Rougarou? I thought I did. And he is here. Yep, here he is. All right. And I'm putting him at a bayou location. Yep. So can we non -bayou, read this? Non-bayou location. Oh, non-bayou location. Yeah, so can I read this before sure, we go put ahead. him into play? Okay. Yeah. So the Rougarou, this thing's a monster. Okay. Okay. So it has a fight of three, an agility of three, has a hit point of five per investigator. So it has a hit point value of ten. Uh, okay. It is a monster. It is a creature, and it is elite. Okay. So what do elite creatures do? Elite creatures? I don't know. What do I elite think creatures the, do? They attack... No, that's a massive that I'm thinking Yeah, of. you're thinking okay. massive. I think elite is just like, as opposed to non-elite. Some cards are target non-elite creatures. Okay. The other nice thing about this is it is aloof, which okay. means it will not instantly engage with us when we enter its territory or its location. All right. That's weird, though. Isn't that what aloof does? Yeah, but okay. it's, I'm surprised. It also has retaliate, means that if we attack it and fail, it instantly hits us for two health and two sanity. Oh. As an additional cost for an investigator to engage the Rougarou, the investigators must spend one clue as a group, two clues instead if there are three or four investigators. Well, just one clue as a group to engage it. Okay. okay. Forced. After the Rougarou takes one damage during a, one damage per investigator. That's interesting. Uh, after the Rougarou takes one damage per investigator during a single phase, find the location that is furthest from all investigators, move the Rougarou one location at a time until it enters that location. So it's kind of scared of us a little bit. All right. So where would we like to put this? Well... It doesn't have the Hunter, it doesn't have Prey, so I mean that's all kind of good. I mean I guess we could just put it down here somewhere. Okay, we'll put it down there. In the unhallowed land. Okay. Near the Foul Swamp. Wow, we have uh, moved this story along quite quick, wow. quickly, and we're not even done with Brad's turn. Read Lady Esprit there, also. Okay, Lady Esprit says she's a dangerous boker. Mm. Um, exhaust Lady Esprit, exhaust Lady Esprit, and deal her one horror, heal two damage, or gain two resources. Any investigator at Lady Esprit's location may activate this ability. So, does she stay here, or can we add her to our hand? It doesn't say anything about that. So, it looks like. We have to come here where she's at. Yeah. And if we want to heal two damage or gain two resources, we simply exhaust her and she takes one horror. Now she has a value of four on that. Any investigator at Lady Esprit's location may activate this ability. That's interesting. Hmm. So she's kind of like a healer. Okay. Heal two damage or... Gain two resources. Mm -hmm. And she's at this location where we've got to spend a skill card to leave it. That's yeah, annoying. well, and that's suck. I mean, it yeah. can suck, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason. I mean, the only reason to go back up here. Oh, yeah, because look, we're going to have to be wasting skill cards in order to get to all these locations. Well, we can go from here to here. Can but we? God knows what these things are going to cost us. Can we? Yeah, yeah. I guess we can yeah. go from there to there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, also, uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile and each encounter card from the Curse of the Rougarou encounter set into the encounter deck. Okay, but so we just blew right through this. I know, right? Uh, I just, yeah, All right, wow. shuffle it in. This is not a, that has not been previously shuffled. Okay, so I need to do a good job of Yes, you need to do a good job of shuffling All right. that. All right, in the meantime, uh, as you leave Lady Esprit's shack, 
A terrible sickness courses through you, oh, and no. you drop to your knees. The lead investigator puts the set-aside curse of the Rougarou weakness into play in his or her threat area. Oh my gosh, I've been Rougaroued. Oh, here you go. Curse of the Rougarou. It's a treachery card. Revelation put Curse of the Rougarou into play at your threat area. Forced at the end of your turn, if you have not dealt any damage this turn, take one horror. So you're going to take one horror no matter what. So I need to be damaging things. Yeah. How do you get, it doesn't say how to get rid of that though, does it? Um, it doesn't. Oh man, so that's a permanent thing. Well. You're going to have to be kicking the poop out of stuff. Wow, that is rough. Okay. All right. Well, okay. And you're then... going to be using her thing. You're going to be back and forth mm. to this lady to uh, uh, that's heal damage. Heal that damage, yeah. Heal horror. All right, so that's that, that agenda. Nope, that's the act. That's the so act. We're up oh, yeah, the second act. act, right? Hunting the Rougarou. The Rougarou is somewhere within the vast bayou. You must track it down and destroy it, lest the beast's curse consume you as well. Forced, after the Rougarou leaves a location, place one clue from the token bank on that location. Objective, we have to destroy the beast. If the Rougarou is defeated, go to R2. Alternate objective, maybe there's another way. While an investigator is engaged with the Rougarou, he or she may choose to advance. Limit once per phase. So we could just end it by not? If you're engaged with the Rougarou, maybe you can end it. Okay. So are you done with your turn then? Oh, you got to take a horror. How many horror do you have? How's your sanity? Why would I take a horror? I am because done with your my curse. Turn. Oh, shoot. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll have to take a horror. I have no choice. All right. So then we're going to exhaust good old uh, Willie the trumpet player. What's his name? Jim Culver. Oh, Jim Culver. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I have three actions, and this is going to be interesting because I honestly didn't think that in one turn, we were going to have the entire board put in front of us. Yeah. Okay. So in order to engage with the Rougarou, we have to spend a clue. As an additional cost for an investigator to engage, Rougarou, the investigator must spend one clue as a group. Two clue, yeah. We have to spend one clue as a group to engage with that thing. Okay. And then it's got 10 hit points. And then it has retaliate. And that's only on a miss, right? Or is right. that even if we hit no, it? it's only okay. on a miss. All right. Uh, okay. Um, let's see what I can. Here's something I'm going to do. Or do I want to? All right. I'm going to spend three resources. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put my shriveling spell into play. This is a good one. I've got four charges on it. Uh, spend one charge, fight. This attack uses my intellect instead of my fight ability, which is good because my intellect is four. Is your intellect or your will? Oh, I'm sorry, my will. Okay. Uh, and then because uh, my punching skills is only two. Yeah. So that will help. I would have thought Ash Can Pete would have had a. Been, well, my dog can also attack. He'd been too. more of an Ash Can kicker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? Is there anything else I want to do? Uh, ba -ba 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 All right. So that's my first action. My second action is going to be move out of the swamp. I don't have any skills cards. Okay. So I guess it doesn't do anything. I'm going to go explore this other area of New Orleans because who knows? What do we have here? The Garden District. Uh, Shroud of One, no clues. Darn it. Hmm. Test my agility. To try to break into a nearby greenhouse and take a look around, if you succeed, remember that the investigators have found a strange doll. But the agility on this is seven. Test agility seven? Yeah. That's nuts. Okay. But I think... I think that's really outrageous. If I... I can spend two resources and bump my agility up by two, which would put me up to five. I mean, is it really worth trying? No. You'd be at minus two. Well, I, yeah. Like, I think just remember that's there. Yeah, I mean, that might be important. I mean, yeah. why would it have us? Why would it have such a high score? Right. If it didn't 
have something that was important to this investigation, to this story. Yeah, and then, now down here, as an action, you can take one damage to get plus two to your skill value for the rest of the, for the next skill test you make this turn. Oh, so I could have, well, so I'd have to go down here, uh, do whatever I have to do. What does it you say? You have to start your turn down there. Yeah, I have to start my turn down there and do what? Take two, uh, take one damage. Take a damage. That would boost me up by two more, come up here, do a skill test up there, spend two resources. I can only break even at that point. Yeah, even that's not going to be good. I bet that's important. Uh, for my third action, I'm just going to take a resource. Okay. And then my turn is done. All right. Now it's the monster's turn, right? Yeah. The monster doesn't really do anything. He's aloof. All right. So he only moves after he's been damaged, and then he tries to move to some place that is the farthest yeah. from us. Right. Okay, okay, so monsters don't do anything. There's no other monsters out there. Uh, I don't have a curse, so I'm good. Okay. Uh, so then we go into the upkeep phase. Okay. In which we reset all of our characters. We unexhaust any things that we have played. All right. We draw a card. And we each get a resource. Wow. Well, and then we uh, check our hand size to make sure that we don't have more than eight. And then we advance, then we go into the mythos phase mm -hmm. in which we put a doom token on the agenda, and then we each take an encounter card, which I hate the encounter cards. Treachery dragged under. Oh no. Revelation, test agility at three. If you fail, add dragged under to your threat area. Forced, when you leave your current location, take two damage and discard dragged under. Oh my gosh. Or forced at the end of, oh, I guess also forced at the end of your turn, test agility three. If you succeed, discard dragged under. Okay. So you have to beat agility of three. Goodness. What's your agility at? My agility is at two. This is just really ridiculous. And I, yeah, that's and I take cool. two damage. Huh? If you All fail, right. right? All right. I will just give but it a shot. But you should always exhaust this lady as an action and uh, get those two heals back. Yeah, that's true. So we go into the token bag and we pull out a... Minus two. Oh, I failed, failed miserably. So, you take so two this quarters. goes into my threat area. Yeah. Threat area is that area right in front of you. I take two damage. All right. No, All right. no. No, I just add it to my threat area. When I leave my current location, I take two damage and discard it. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Okay, I just... Okay. A little jumping ahead. Okay. Or at the end of my turn, I can test three. Okay. Right. I will also take an encounter card, and I get Cursed Swamp Hazard Revelation. Test my willpower of three. For each point you fail by, take one damage. If you are at a Bayou location, you cannot commit cards to this skill test. Well, I'm not at a Bayou location, thank goodness. Uh, so my intellect is four, so I'm beating it by one. That gives me a, what is that, a 14? You know, it gives me a 40% advantage. Um, is that right? Could be. Beating it by one. Advantage by one says 40% advantage. There you go. Yep. All right, well, I will go ahead and test it. Uh, this is, Do you want to explain those little cards? Well, yeah, so Brad made up these little uh, stats cards that are really kind of cool because if my advantage in this case is plus one, which it is, uh, it says that I have a 39% advantage, meaning I have a 39% chance of succeeding, yeah. which isn't high. Yeah. But uh, why it's commit? not good at all, actually. <laughs> why commit? I mean, I could commit to the skills challenge if I wanted to. So, and, that's, and that's where this card comes in handy because now you know what the value. So if you were to commit one more, if you were to go up a level, that would change your... Uh, your percentage of success. Yeah, they give me a 65% advantage. Almost double it. I don't want to spend any of these, though. Okay, well. So. All right. Good luck. For each point you fail by, take one damage. Oh, dude. And I bring up a minus one. It's an even, because I'm at four. It's yep. a three. An even is Did good it. enough as a win. All I right. don't suffer any 
any damage. Well played. All right. Uh, so then we are back into the investigator phase. So, All right. Brad, would you like to go first? I guess I will. I am going to exercise a little bit of caution here. I'm going to spend a resource and give Jim a knife. And... That's your first action. That's my first action. You're going to go engage the Rougarou? We don't have any clues. We can't. No, I can't, even if I wanted to. So I'm going to I'm going to head down to the brackish waters. Okay, so you're gonna take I would two need damage. To ditch a skill point uh, or a skill card because of this. Wait, what's the spectral mist? Oh, that that uh, each skill test performed under task the location gets plus one difficulty. Oh, I stood even less of a chance of getting dragged oh, yeah, under yeah. down there. I forgot about that. That sucks. All right, so I do take two damage for dragged under. I get dragged under Alligators. as I'm leaving. But you get to ditch that. And now I can discard this. Yeah, oh, yeah they mentioned uh, Yog Safath a little no. bit ago. Shub Niggurath. Oh, Shub Niggurath. Okay. Yeah. So the black goat. Obviously, these are based on Lovecraft uh, guys. What's what's this guy's? Shub Niggurath is the yeah. black goat. And what does he do? Of uh, the uh, the mother of a thousand young. What does she do? No, oh, sorry. So she is. Uh, yeah. So she uh, she spews forth um, monstrous, nasty, tree-looking, tentacled things. I wonder what that has to do with werewolves. Mm, got nothing, man. I don't know. Okay. So that was your first action. Brackish waters. The reeking odor of dead fish overwhelms your senses. You can't help but hold your breath as you wade through the repugnant shallows. A shroud of one, no clues. While you're at brackish waters, you cannot play assets. Discard two assets from your hand or from play. Oh my gosh. This is as an action. Test agility at three to wade through the dark waters and retrieve an abandoned fishing net. If you succeed, take control of the set-aside fishing net asset. Oh, that could be useful. Yeah, but my agility is only... What do you have to, what's your agility I that you have to beat? I could discard a couple of assets. A test agility at three. Oh, really? Okay. Boy, my agility is only at two, though, and I really don't want to ditch this card. But it doesn't say you have to. No, it doesn't say I have to. All right, so that was my second action, okay. right? Okay, yeah. I think for my third action, I will move down to here. This is Riverside. Even at this late hour, bells and shouts sound across the piers as dock workers go about their business. Fallberg Marginy. While you're at Fallberg Marginy, reduce the cost of each asset you play by one. Uh, this is a resignation. We can't catch the beast. You make your way to safety, letting the beast roam free. And there are also zero clues here. Oh, so we could just like end this game right now. <laughs> it could. That would be the worst. Um, no, you would be the worst if you did that. Wow, that's really... That's your third action. That's my third action. Uh, this okay, is, so let's think about this. This is weird, Stephen. Okay, so let's think about this. We're te agilities apparently are big deals right now. Okay. We have a doll that may be something. Mm -hmm. We have a net that we can test. I have a feeling I could get that net. But so it says, um, discard, let's see. While you are in the brackish waters, you cannot play assets. Does that mean assets from our hand? Or does that mean assets down here? It's from your hand. Okay. All right. I, I, could, I could probably test that and win. One, two, three. I won't be able to do it this turn, though. Okay. I could I could probably get that net. All right. So, for my... Remember, you got to ditch a skills card to only get... Only if I've got a skills card. Okay. Right? It doesn't say if you don't have a skills card, you have to do anything else, right? True that. Okay, so I have... Oh, look, no... what I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. Okay. Sorry. That was... All right. So, my first... Okay, so first I'm going to spend two resources... And I'm going to put Dig Deep into play. Now, Dig Deep is kind of a neat one to have alongside Scrapper because Dig was Deep... A, oh, that's the... Uh, yeah. ...is actually it boosts my two other abilities. So I've got Scrapper, which I will boost my fighting skills and my agility. And I have Dig Deep, which will boost my intellect and my agility. Wow. And so I've got two resources here. I've only got to beat this by three... 
My first, my second action is going to be move here. Okay. My third action is going to be move here, and in my turn here in the brackish waters. So now, if oh never mind. What? Well, let's say if you hadn't brought out dig deep, you still could have boosted your agility have, yeah. on, the, on another yeah. action. But okay. I wanted to get this out regardless yeah, because if there are other assets in there. Okay. So, yep. investigator's turns are over. Monster's turn. Monster doesn't do anything. What does your curse do? Oh, at the end of my turn, I uh, needed to take one horror for Ugh. not dealing any damage. I'm going to put that in a more yeah, prominent, prominent place. spot there. Okay. Monsters mm. don't do anything, so then we go into the upkeep phase, so we will reset our okay. characters. Draw a card. Oh, draw a card and get a resource. Get a resource. Oh, nice. Oh, that's an asset, though, so I can't put an asset yet. That's okay, though. One, check our hand size. No hand size. Well, that first turn just took forever, Brad, just because of the complete amount of setup that we did. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. All right. This game has got a lot of weird to it, though. I mean, this is... Especially these. Now, I've yeah. noticed that the um, there's one other side game, which is the Night of the Carnival or something like yeah, that, which um, takes place in Italy. Yeah. That one also has a really weird setup that is not, not like any of the other games that I've seen before. Right. A lot of one ways, a lot of yeah. just a bunch of weird stuff. So yep. this is this is kind of interesting to play. I kind of like this. I mean, we're yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Well, New Orleans. Now, swamp swamp land, right? New Orleans. Yeah. And um and I just so far I'm I'm digging the storyline. It is cool. All right. Uh so we got one resource, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. uh, we got our cards. It is now we the mythos phase, so we'll add game. a second token on there. All right. And take our encounter cards. Ooh, here we go. Slime covered hole. Oh no. Spawn at any non bayou location. Am I at a non bayou location? Let me see. Hang on now. Prey, lowest remaining health. Hunter. Oh. Forced. When slime covered dole enters a location, each investigator at that location takes one horror. Now, is that when it spawns, or is it when it enters through movement? Yeah, I think it enters through movement. Okay. Because right. it would be awful if you have to take damage as soon as it appears. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, let's let's go ahead and spawn it here. Oh, wait, you're, oh, yeah, so you can fight it. Can you beat it? Um, it has a fight of only two. Oh, okay. And it has three hit points, so it's going to take me a little bit, but I need to do... You have to do some oh, fighting. Oh, man, no, you know, I don't want to spawn it here, though. It's... Well, it's got the hunter. Um, it's got the hunter thing, so it's going to come after you anyway. So you could put it right here. That'll give you a turn to boost up whatever you've got okay. coming for it. All right. You're going to end up taking some damage. Yeah. It'll move here on its next turn. Well, oh no, it'll actually it. move right over. Well, I could. Oh, you could do boost a thing, and then go over to it. Okay. All right. Stab it. Just and at some point, some you need damage. to get back to the Lady Esprit and, yeah, and get, uh, get healed yourself up. healed up. Because yeah. I don't think I have any healing in my in my deck. I think right. I went go for broke. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to oh, let you draw oh, a card. Oh, yeah, I've got to draw a card, too. And my encounter card says, Cursed Swamp, test my, intel, my willpower. For each point you fail by, take one damage. If you're at a Bayou location, you not, cannot commit cards to the skills test. I can, though. I'm beating it by one. Now that my Dig Deep is in play, I will go ahead and spend a resource and beat it by two, which gives me uh, a 57% chance of succeeding okay. because I'm at a Bayou location. Still better than half. Now, what's with the Bayou? Lo oh, the skull is worth minus four for you at a Bayou location. Oh, my God. A wow. minus six. Minus six. All right, so I was at five. Well, no thing. I missed by one. No, I missed by. How much did I miss by? Well, what's your what's your skill ability? Uh, five is what I was up five. to. So you could, that lowers you down to zero. What's the challenge you were trying three. to beat? Three. Three. So you miss it by three. So you're got to take three damage. So you're because you're you were at five and it's at three, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that. That negative applies to your skill value. Your skill value cannot be reduced below zero. Oh, okay. Ouch, that hurt. Negative six. That's the next to the, uh, the auto fail. The auto, the auto fail. fail yeah. It is the highest one that we have. Yep. Yep. Now, keep in mind, viewers, that there is a hard version of this game <laughs> where the tokens that you put into play include a negative eight. Nice. 
Yeah, no. All right, Brad, uh, would you like to go first? I guess I will. Okay, I will spend two resources. Okay. And I will bring up the Song of the Dead. So Jim is able to play a song in his trumpet. This has five charges. Okay. And the Song of the Dead allows Jim to fight using his will instead of his fight ability. While you're at Farball Maragani, reduce the cost of each asset you play by one. Oh, nice. Okay, so I get one back. Thank you. Thank you for catching that. All right. That's kind of neat. That's a neat way to yeah. pull out your weapons very quickly. Yeah, no kidding. And I will move over here to this location at Riverside. Oh, the Audubon Park. Uh, Forrest, when you evade an enemy at Audubon Park, discard a random card from your hand. Leaves flutter in the cold wind, breaking the stillness of the park. With the area strangely abandoned, you feel as though you don't belong here. This is worth one victory point. The shroud is three, and there are two clues, one for each investigator. All right, so I'll put the clues right. on. That was my second action. As my third action, well, this slime-covered doll will oh, engage no. me. Yep. Oh, it engages you, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, because yeah. it takes an action to engage a creature. Right, but it okay. just automatically engages me. It does not okay. allude for anything. All right. Uh, and uh, I'm going to attack it using the Song of the Dead. Um, so my will is at four. This gives me a plus one will for the attack, so that puts me at five. I am up by three. I have an advantage of three. Minus oh, three, zero. zero. Close enough. Yep. Still success, so I... Um, one damage or I do damage? one damage. Okay. Just one damage. But right. that's, that's... And does it ever retaliate or anything like that? Does not. But you will, if, you will take a damage, though, on your turn. I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit me for damage and a horror, yes. So I don't really save anything by doing this. I thought I was saving myself from taking a horror, but in fact... I'm going to have to take a horror anyway. You oh, didn't well. have a way to boost that up? No. Well, I mean, I could have boosted it up, but it, it wouldn't have added, wouldn't have added to damage. the damage. Yeah. Okay, so that's your third turn. That is my third, third turn. action. All right, so my action is going to be hunt this thing. And, uh, um, oh, boy. <laughs> not, not a good sound. Oh, boy. Oh, I have to discard three cards. Shoot. Three? That's what it says. Oh, discard two assets, sorry, from your hand or from play, and then test your agility to wade through the dark waters. Okay. All right. So, first of all, I'm going to get rid of Flashlight. Okay. And I think I'm going to get rid of... Darn it. That one would have been good. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of working a hunch as okay. well. And then I'm going to spend. So I'm at three. It's at three. I'm going to spend two resources to bump that up by two. Okay. Yeah. So it's one per resource? Is that the... Yep, one per resource. Because okay. with a fast action like that, my understanding of the rule is you can play it again and again and again yeah. for as many times as, as you want. So... All right, so I am testing three, or I'm sorry, I'm testing um, five to its three. Zero. Awesome. All right, so if you succeed, if you succeed, take control of the set-aside fishing net. And uh, this goes into play right away, right? Yes. Okay. You take control of it, yeah. Okay. Do you have a free hand? Oh, uh, this does not use a hand. Really? If the Rougarou is exhausted and at your location, attach fishing net to the Rougarou, attached enemy loses retaliate. Awesome. Brad. That is really retaliate. good. That's really good. All right, so that was my second act. No. That was my first action. Okay. My second action, I could come down and help you. You sure? Well, because it's going to attack you. Are you going to be able to kill it? 
Well, what's it? What am I? What's it? It's uh, it's attack is only two. I can have my dog uh, do some stuff. Doesn't have retaliate, right? It has two hit points left. It does not have retaliate. And I'm trying to hit three. Uh, you're trying to hit two. So it's got two hit points left. Its fight is two. Okay. Because uh, I can exhaust Duke. You attack with a uh, base skill of four, and this deals plus one to the plus one damage. I guess Duke could kill him. Yeah. Okay. That'd put me up to four against its two. It'd be up by two. Okay. So I'm going to spend my second action to move down here. My third action to uh, attack that okay. enemy. All right. I'm going to exhaust Duke. He's going to lay down. And I'm going to draw out a minus three. So I missed it by one. Jeez. Oh, Sorry, Brad. How much damage does Duke do? Um, it's just if I succeed. Oh, this attack deals plus one damage, so... The attack deals plus one damage, not mm -hmm. if you succeed, it's just mm -hmm. a, this great. So you have to take some more damage? I have to take two damage. Oh, no. Well, Duke, Doofus Duke, bit me. Well, you know, it was dark. Yeah. There were things moving around. He just <laughs> ran out there and started biting. Oh, Duke. Sorry, Duke. Bad dog. Sorry, man. Bad, bad dog. All right, I think that's the end of our, our turn. Wow. Uh, monster turn. Hey, look. This monster's going to bite me. Are you dead? <laughs> no, but I'm pretty close. You better get up there to a Lady Esprit. I've only got two health left. Uh, you're going to have to spend a couple turns maybe hanging out there in the bayou at her shack and healing up. I'm a mess, and I've got three horror on me. Why? Oh, because it took a... Because the monster also horror. horrored me. I really wish I had... <coughs> Not done that? <laughs> that was so a good Rougarou, try. Rougarou it was a noble effort. Rougarou doesn't do anything, so now we can upkeep phase where we can unexhaust All right. everybody. All right. Draw a card. Well, I kind of wish I had my other player because he had a thing that would automatically exhaust monsters. Hmm. Um, okay, so draw a card, gain a resource. Remember, assets come cheap down here. Yeah, they in do. The Audubon Park. Yeah, but do they also come cheap here? Oh no, I'm sorry, that it's was right. There. It's over at blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we add one to the Mythos. All right. Yeah. And help yourself to an Investigator card. Oh, I believe I shall. Treachery on the Prowl. This also has Surge, which means oh, no. I'm going to get another card. Oh, joy. Revelation. Find a non-Bayou location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Rougarou one location at a time until it enters that location. A non-Bayou location. Oh, a non-Bayou location. Yeah. But we don't know how many... With the fewest clues on it. Well, this one has... I guess we put him up zero. Up. We put him up either... It doesn't one. matter. He's just going to move right there. Well, no. He's going to slowly start making his way there. He's going to move there one location at a time until he enters that location. Yeah. So he's just going to move here. And then after that, he'll and move there, there. And then after that, he'll move there. Dropping clues all along the way. Oh, does he drop a clue? I believe so, right? Um... No, where did I? Why did I think the Rougarou dropped clues when he moved? Is that on the? I don't think so. Did I not read that somewhere? Forced. After the Rougarou leaves the location, place one clue oh, from the okay. token bank on that location. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So, so move it there. Let's call it there. Yeah. All right. And that could be actually good because we could get over here. Yeah. And start hurting it. Well, you have some kind some of, of you have some kind of marker we can use. We'll just remember. Eh, we'll that. just remember. He's going over here. Sure, we'll remember that. We'll we never forget these important, yeah. complicated things. Yeah. Okay. And oh, I, as that is surge actually. Oh, sorry. Ripples on the surface. Revelation. Test will at three. For each point you fail by, take one horror. If you're at a bayou location, you cannot commit cards to this test. <sighs> Test will at three. My will is four, so I'm at plus one. I could add a doom to blood pact, but I don't really want to. Not no, because the agenda will advance. Yeah, so I'm at plus one. And you're going to die if you uh, fail? 
No, I'd have to lose by five. I don't think I can lose by five. Okay. This is Brad. Oh, zero. Good. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, so you can discard. Nope, 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 nope. nope. That was the foul swamp card. Ripples on the surface. I wonder right. what, uh, since we're at the same location, wonder what those ripples on the surface are, because I already looked at Oh, this here card. we go. It is a bog gator. A bog gator. Has a fight of two, a health of two, an agility of two. Prey, lowest agility. Well, right now it's going to attack me, right? No. No. I've got an agility of three. What is I yours? an agility of two. Oh, man, read that. While Bog Gator is at a bayou location, it gets plus two fight and plus two evade. Fortunately, the Audubon Park is not a bayou no, it's location. it's not a bayou. All right. <sighs> Sorry, Brad. Well, Investigator turn. Smash one, smash the other. Here's what I'm going to do. I could let... Um, I could let Duke take one of these. Could yeah, I? if you wanted to. They're both of them a fight of two. I guess Duke's going to eat me again, isn't he? If he misses, sure. I can't really even evade. All right, I got this. Fine. Fine, then. I've got this. How would you feel if I were to activate the agenda? I think everything's out, so I mean the agenda is not going to kill us in the next turn because I really think that the agenda was supposed to advance before Rougarou's appeared. I don't know, man. Let's see how many? There's like There's three. Three. So I was saying I could boost my blood pack up a couple of times. Oh wait, no, I get it. Can um, it no, I can only get it once per skill test, and it's. But if I were going to make two attacks, yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, but that skill, does it boost the skill and keep the skill there for both attacks? No. Oh. Just for that one skill test. Go figure. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw my knife at the slime-covered hole, which would put my fight at plus f at five. Its fight is two, so I'm at plus three. That is a 74% uh, chance of That's victory. Success. Let's see here. Here we go. It smells sweet. Plus one. There you go. The All only right. plus one in the bag. I threw my knife. Oh, you threw the there knife. There are two plus okay. ones in the bag. I threw my knife, so that does an extra two points of damage. So the slime oh, covered man. hole save that. is dead. Why? Because you could have hit the other guy with that thrown knife and given it two damage instantly and killed it. Well, give this guy two damage instantly and killed it. You needed one. No, I needed two. Oh, you needed two? Yeah. Okay. He's tougher. Okay. Yeah. All right, so there's your first action. That's my first action. For my second action, oh, I guess I could have held onto my knife and stabbed the bog gator a couple times before I threw it away. It's all right. Dang it. All right, for my second action, I'm going to uh, play the Song of the Dead on my trumpet, and hopefully I can get some dead folks out here Does to help me out. Does that increase the doom track? Nope. Oh, nope. that's not It's just the one. Song okay. of the Dead. So Jim whips out his trumpet and plays the song, He's going to fight using his will instead of his fight. Yeah, no. No. Uh, this does not feel so good. All right, so he's at five. Did I say he gets plus one, so he's at yeah. five. Five two, instead of two, so two. it's plus three. Okay. Plus three. Oh. Skull. Skull is minus two, minus four instead if you're at a bayou location. You are not at a bayou location, so it's minus two. Unless you're Jim Culver. Oh, and then what does it do? Skull's plus zero. Hey, all right. And unless you're playing the Song of the Dead. <laughs> at which point, <laughs> the skull deals plus two damage. Oh, wow. So, the so you annihilated that bog toast. gator. Yes. This is the first time that something evil... I, I'm sh I think Jim is not a very good guy. I told you, Jim, He's conscripted with Jim, is, Jim is a little on the... He has spent some time at the crossroads, I believe. Yeah. Wow. So is yeah. that your three turns? Uh, I believe that was two actions. All right. For my third action... You need to get over here to Lady Esprit and... Well, I was going to investigate and grab a clue. And you don't have to worry about taking a horror because you actually fought. I did. I did some damage there. What's your um, insanity level? My, uh, I can take eight. I'm at three, so I've got five more. I can only take two more. That treachery. Got to, uh, that treachery is awful. There's yeah. no way to get rid of it. I don't know. Maybe if we advance the agenda. Maybe. Um... 
All right, oh, do you, yeah, that's the other thing. Maybe now, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to you want to investigate and get the clues, or do you think I well, should? Well, we have to get the clues in order to fight the Rougarou. What's your, so my investigation is only at three, and the Shroud here is at three. Well, I can use Duke and uh, get my base up to four. Okay. And then See? I can then I can boost. I can spend a resource and boost it again. All right. I've also got a also got an asset I could use that would increase my investigation. But um, you know, I kind of also oh that Rugaru's aloof, isn't he? Yeah. All right. I was going to say I don't want to be someplace where he's going to be. But okay, I'm going to go yeah, back. It doesn't up matter. Here. You can't attack him without brackish water. While you're at Brackish Waters, you can't play assets. So, okay, I will go up here to Brackish Waters in the bayou and end my turn. I do not take horror from the Curse of the Rukuru. All right. I stabbed and sang horrible songs. Boy, those, those ghosts just tore that alligator. They did. That was pretty, pretty freaky, man. It reminded me of Matthew's character in uh, Modern City. Oh, there you go. I am going to investigate. So I'm going to exhaust Duke. You investigate with a base of four, and this has a, base, a shroud of three, so I'm up by one, and I'm going to... Okay, so I need to increase my book learnings. Oh, I have none of these that increase my book learnings. Up by one. Oh, man. So with... Um, I, I'm not really familiar with the Mystic class, Brad. Right. Uh, down in the corner, I see the little um, pentacle, pentagram. Mm -hmm. It's a spell. Can I have multiples of that or I just one? I think you've got one spell slot, but we could check okay. that. Each investigator has two arcane slots. Some spells take two arcane slots. but So does that have just one pentacle in it or two? It just has one. Okay, so you can have two spell slots. Hmm. Do you already have a spell slot? I do. My uh, shriveling is oh, a spell that's slot. Right. That's right. Uh, but I don't think I think that these things are too powerful right now to get out. Investigate. Yeah, that would have been helpful to have out. Ah, oh, no, I really need to get this one out. Shoot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spin perception. Um, max one committed per skill test. So this has two of the uh, book learnings on it. Okay. Which is the uh, the intellect. So now I'm up by three at this location. Okay. Plus one. So I get a clue. That was your first action. That was my first action. My second action... Mm-mm-mm-mm. Shoot. Well, I'm up by... Is this for all investigations? How do you read that? Does that? Do you think that still counts for this investigation? Well, you exhausted Duke, so that's one of the prices for that. Um, so is that, that's a one-time only thing, you think? Yeah, now you could have moved as part of that action. Yeah, I don't want to move, though. Because I want to get that other clue. Yeah. So you probably should have investigated first yourself. I did. And then used Duke. Oh, used Duke? Oh, yeah. okay. And, and got, a free, got a free move, move out of it. Out of oh, here. I see. Okay. But no, we exhaust, exhausting Duke is part of the uh, cost of that. So you can Well, leave. I can't. I don't have anything that I can do to boost this. So um, I will... Draw a card. Or yeah, that's what I think we're going to do. Take a resource. Oh, you've only got one resource, dude. Uh, let's see. First action was to investigate. Second action, I'm going to draw a card. Third action, I'm going to take a resource. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have <laughs> taken two resources. Oh, well. Uh, Live and learn. Shoot. Uh, you didn't draw your weakness card or anything more, Bolivia. No, That's but had I done, if had I played smart, I would have been able to get this card out that I wanted to get out. Okay. Uh, uh, monster turn. All right, um, the Rougarou move. move to the Foul Swamp. Mm -hmm. You will leave a clue at the Unhallowed Land. Okay. 
Uh, all right, uh, upkeep phase. So unexhaust Duke. Duke gets back up, pads over to me. Flip our character cards back over. All right. Um, draw a card and gain a resource. All right. And now it is the um, Mythos phase. Okay. And so that's at four. And we have to take our nasty pill now. Oh, is this slime covered the whole? Again? Yep. Man, this park is infested with them. Uh, it spawns at any non bayou location. Prey, the one with the lowest remaining health, hunter, force when slime covered the whole location. Da -da 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 -da. Well, um, put it over here. Because you're going to move over here, and that'll give hunter. you that'll give you time to heal before it comes right. for you. But it'll come for you too. Uh, then I will go ahead and take it. All right, all right. So you're happy with it? Then we could put it over here somewhere. No, because we really need to get over there and investigate those areas in case there's more stuff. I mean, but okay, all right. But... I don't like to have too many monsters on the board at the same time. All right, it's fine by me. Your turn. I get. Dragged under. Test my agility. My agility is at three. This is at three. Uh, add dragged under into your threat area. Forced when you leave the current location. Take two damage and discard dragged under. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. Dragged under. I'm going to go ahead and commit. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, because I'm almost dead too. I've got a health of six and I'm already down by three. So. I'm going to discard two resources and boost my agility by two. Okay. And I'm going to come out with a minus four. All right, well. So it just goes to your, attaches to your... Uh... Yeah, attaches to my threat area. Okay. And uh, forced, when you leave your current location, take two damage and discard dragged under. So I'm going to have to take two more damage. And then at the end of my turn, I have to test it again, and if I succeed, then I can... But if you leave the location... Yeah, I have to take two damage, and take then I two can damage get rid of this. Get rid of it. Or I can stay at my current location, which I'll do, because I want to get that other clue. Uh, then I can force at the end of your turn, uh, test it again, and if I succeed, discard it. It doesn't say that I take damage if I fail. Okay, and then if you don't leave here, the dole's going to come attack you. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. All right. Uh, investigator for a phase. Um, I'm not okay with that, but okay. I no, will... I can I can kick this guy's butt. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not worried about that. I will move to the cursed shores. Okay. And um, that's my first action. You can exhaust. My second action, I'm going to exhaust Lady of Spree. Oh, you're going to take a mental damage on this. No, I'm going to deal her one horror, and I heal two damage or gain two resources. Okay. So she's going to take the mental damage. Okay. All right. And for my third action, I am going to I'm going to test my intellect to disrupt the source of the mist. I remember that spectral mist from the very beginning. It's the whole thing that caused all this mm -hmm. trouble, right? Yeah. So I'm going to play this card. For the two uh, intellect boost, so that puts my intellect at five, so I'm at plus three. Okay. Uh, but each skill test performed at attached location gets minus plus one difficulty, so I'm actually, so it's at three and I'm at five, so I'm at plus two. This is not good. Hey, Elder, Elder Sign. Sign. Elder That's actually Sign. really good. Plus one. All right. So there you go. Uh, nothing else? Nope. Not uh, for me. Uh, 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 nope. Oh, wait. Um, you have, should have an Elder Sign. Well, anytime I reveal an Elder Sign token, I can choose instead to treat it as a Skull token, but that doesn't, doesn't help you here. Help me much. Okay. So you succeeded? Uh, yes. So this goes, this goes away. away. All right. And that is my third and final action. Kind of worried about you. 
Now, and let's let's talk about this. If you stay here, mm-hmm. if you stay here, you're gonna. You, you think you can kill the dole this turn before it does damage to you? Uh, no, because I would have to go to its location to do that. You would have to go to its location to attack it. To attack it. Because it's going to come into my location right, and then right. engage with me and attack me, right? Right. On its monster turn? Yes. Does it automatically attack me when I it moves into believe, my location? I believe it does. Yeah. Uh, so it moves first. So the enemies with the hunter keyword move toward nearest investigator. Then each engaged enemy attacks if able. So yes, it will. It will move and then it will attack you. Well, then I'm going to have to move and attack yet. Which means you're going to take two damage. No. One. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to take you're two damage. You're going to get dragged under. Yeah, so I'm one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situations. Because I'm going to, well, no, if I stay here, I'm only going to take one damage. If I move, I'll take two damage. How many damage can you afford to take? Three damage. Okay. But if it attacks you and you take one damage, then you can't move from that location until you get rid of Dragged Under. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, uh, if I'm in a. I am in a. I cannot move, Brad. You understand that, right? You understand that, right? Because if I move, well, if you move, if I move, I'm going to move here. Yes. That's the only place I can move. And then move again. Come up here with me. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to take two damage. No, because as soon as you move, I'm going take to take two damage, two damage. Then you lose that card. Right. You don't lose. You don't right. take two damage twice. But. Moving here is not going to do me any good. Well, you'll be one more away from the doll, which we should put over here somewhere out of the way. Put clues, Brad. I, I think we're I think we're doomed. Steve. Well, we can always resign. We can always say, "Hey, this monster's too much for us," and get the heck out. Nah, Jim's going to go down in a blaze of glory. All right, here's the thing. A trumpet rendition of Bon Jovi. Uh, okay, so if I move two, I will take two damage. One, two. All right, this goes away. I'll take two damage. I have one damage left. Okay. Okay? I'm going to take one resource. Okay. In my turn. Okay. Monster phase. This moves up. This moves. This moves into us. Doesn't do anything to us. It is aloof. Okay. Nothing weird going there. Um... Forced, you have to get rid of a um, a skill. Yeah, when we, we leave. leave her. You take one damage, get plus two to your skill. T- oh, I could have done that. Oh, well, that would have been a bad idea. All right. All right. Uh, one car, or no? We have to unexhaust all of our. Well, I'm going to use her then. Yeah. All right. One card, one resource. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. The agenda advances. All right. A violent storm rolls in as your search continues. Black rain clouds. Black rain clouds conquer the sky. The air thick with humidity. You recall that all of the recent killings took place late at night. Under the cover of dark clouds, a shiver runs up your spine, and you cannot help but wonder what if you are next. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. No! Yes. If Rougarou is in play, find a non-Bayou location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Rougarou one location at a time until it enters that location. If the Rougarou is not in play... After advancing to Agenda A2, add one Doom to that agenda. All right, so he is, he is in play. All right, so we got to find he again. He's going to still, still, move, over still move over there. Or he can move over here. Well, let's... Uh, Actually, let's move him down you know, here. We could. No, you let's know? move him down here. If we, move him, if we move him down here, he'll drop another clue here eventually. Oh, okay. I was going to say move him over here, and um, it costs one less to pull our assets out. 
Yeah, but no. Let's let's okay. have him let's have him drop okay. multiple clues. So does multiple. that happen immediately? So he starts to go, move down. He there? starts to go down there. Yeah. Okay. Well, not immediately. I mean, on his when his, when his oh, movement okay. starts. All right. All right. The Rugaru feeds. Well, that's not good. Around you, the Bayou feasts. Flesh rip, flesh rips, and jaws snap just beyond the trees, and light droplets of rain. Sure, it's rain. Uh, ripple upon the surface of the water. You can't tell exactly where the sounds are coming from. Perhaps it's the dreadful ambiance of the bayou itself. Six doom to advance the agenda. Okay. We've got a while. Not a whole lot. All right. So the Rougarou is cruising back down here to the unhallowed land. How do we exhaust the Rougarou? Uh, we can evade him, but first we have to encounter him to evade him. Right, that's what. So you have to spend an action to encounter him. Spend an action we to have evade to him. Spend a clue to. Oh, spend a clue and an encounter to exhaust him. To, yeah, so it's going to cost a lot, actually. Oh, shoot. Did I... Um, yes, you didn't have to worry about it that time. Are you sure? You fought two monsters. I don't think of my oh, last Oh, no, you said I you did. dealt the damage to her instead. Well, I didn't deal damage to her. She took mental damage. Oh, okay. I didn't deal any damage to anybody. I take a horror. Okay. Shoot. All right, well, take, a, take an encounter card then. All right. This is not good. No, nope. we're going to die. <gasps> Bog Gator, pray... Lowest agility, that's me. When Bog Gator is at a bayou location, he gets plus two fight and plus two oh, evade. Oh, he's so at a bayou location. He's at a bayou location, so he is he is pretty tough. All that's right. vicious. I will find a Cursed Swamp. Test my intellect of three. For each point you fail by, take one damage. I'm going to die. If you're at a bayou location, you cannot commit cards to the skills test. And you are. Oh, Stephen. I can... Can't commit cards, but I can commit two resources. Hey, what's with your fishing net also? Fishing net doesn't do anything. If the Rougarou is exhausted and at your location, attach fishing net to the Rougarou. Oh. Attached enemy loses retaliate. Oh, so we, need, so we do need to exhaust him. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Oh, okay, well I might be able to do that for you this turn. Okay. Right. You have to engage him. You have to spend a clue as a group to engage him. And then you have to evade him. You have a clue, right? I have one clue. We can spend a clue as a group. Okay. Is that right? Or does yep. I have to clue spend as a group. it myself? Nope. Clue as a group. Okay. I'm going to spend two resources. So my intellect is now at six to the swamp of three. All right. So I may die here, in which case, what happens to this fishing net? You're plus three. It's gone, baby, gone. Oh, look, if you die here, I'm dying here. Zero. You're fine. All right. This has gone away. All right. Uh, but you're engaged with a monster, so you can't even you can't even attack the Rougarou. Oh, I can't even attack the Rougarou. Boy, that's annoying. I had a whole plan if I wasn't engaged Can I go with first? Monster. Um, you want me to go first? I mean, I can I can evade him. I can do all that stuff. You want to? You want to engage him? Well, I thought you've got to do Lady Esprit, though. I do. Yeah. Do so Lady she will take one horror. Okay. And I will cure two damage. Okay. So that's my first action. All right. And his agility is at three? Uh, the Larugaru? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to spin this clue to engage the Rougarou. Okay. And then I'm going to evade the Rougarou. It's my third action. But then, are, the, what is it? Does it an action or is it a lightning bolt reaction? It's a lightning reaction. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. I got this. Okay. All right, I'm going to spend a resource okay. to boost my agility from three to four. Okay. 
Then I'm going to play Unexpected Courage, which has a wild card Ooh, nice. symbol. Two, two wild card cards. symbols. Jeez. Max one commit per skill test. So now I am up by three to its three. Okay. Okay, so I'm at six to its three. Is there anything else I can commit to this? Oh, you're up by three, man. Okay. Minus two. I win. It's exhausted. Fishing net. Fishing net means it can no longer retaliate. All right. And it is exhausted at this location. So even when it's not exhausted, it still has that fishing net attached to it. So we no longer have to worry about retaliate. Okay. We do, however, have to worry about this dolly. Hmm. And so there's, those are my actions, right? So heal, engage, evade. Okay. All right. Now, if we again, we still need clues if we want to engage with it again. I think we need to get down here. And I'm going to be dead. No, I won't die. Okay, do you want me to go? Oh, I've got to take care of the bog. You've got to take the god, god, bog, bog gator, the gob baiter. Do you have right. a shriveling or a your little pentagram thing that was blasted to I'm going to sing another song of the dead. Okay, does that advance the agenda? No. Okay. Um, so I fight it plus one will. So I use my will plus one, which is five. It has uh, a fight of two, so I'm at plus three. And this doesn't have a minus one. Oh, that was with the mist had the minus one. Okay. Yep. Oh, but it's at a plus two, right? No. I, oh, that's right. So I'm only at a plus one. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, I could, and what, no, do you, what, a, do you, what do you need? No, 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 because I can commit. What do you need? I'm a plus one for uh, willpower. Willpower. And willpower is Not, the brains, huh? No, I'm just going to drop a doom. I can, on, I can, uh, it's okay. I can throw it's, a card in here. It's really okay. Okay. It's really okay. I'm going to drop a doom on the blood pact. I get plus three to the skill test. So that will put me at seven, eight. It's at four. I'm at plus four. Wow, you need to use that again to get up here and get that dolly. No, because it doesn't affect agility. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've got a bunch of agility pumping stuff now, right? I do, yes. Uh -huh. you just got to get some resources. i got to get resources. To Minus three. three. So what did I say I was? You were at seven, I think. I was at, let's calculate this again, because I can never remember four, five, eight. Minus four is plus four. I'm still at plus one. I still do one damage. To Only the one? Gator. Oh. That's all it did. You'd have to do that again, right? Yep. <sighs> All right, I'll spend another song of the dead charge. Boy, that stinks. Oh, because it's got a health of what? Three? Two. Oh, two. So you just so have to hit it one more time. One, okay. Yeah. But You're I'm not beating a, it by how much? No, I'm not beating it by how much this time. I mean, I guess I could do it. I, could, I can throw in a card. I could drop another. I'm just going to drop another one on here. That's fine. Okay. So now the doom is at two. All right. So I'm at plus three, so four, five, eight. I'm at plus four. This is your second action. Yes. Okay. Minus four, zero, even. Good enough. Bog Gator is killed. Dead for now. That's in my discard. Uh, I've done some damage, so I will not yep. take stuff from there. I'm going to go ahead and move down to the uh, foul This swamp. will move here. Swamp. That's fine with me. What's its prey? Lowest agility. Oh, really? Lowest remaining... Oh, sorry. Lowest remaining health. Lowest remaining health. I'm at four. Uh, I'm at three, so it'll come up and attack me. Okay. Do you want me to stay no. here? No, 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 no. I can take I can take the damage. You're sure? And then I will kill it, yes. Okay. You're going to take the damage. Oh, it's just one. Okay. Yeah, it's only one. All right. Foul Swamp. The stench of death and decay washes over you as you slog through this putrid swamp. It's hard to imagine what could live in these waters, sullied as they are by rot and putrefaction. Uh, unhallowed bayou's location. While you're at Foul Swamp, you cannot heal horror or cancel horror. As an action, take up to three horror, test will at seven to search the boneyard. You get plus one for this test for each horror token, horror taken as part of this ability's cost. If you succeed, 
Remember that the investigators have found an ancient binding stone. Well, that must only help us at the end of the game. Test will at seven. I could get my will up to seven using the blood pact. That only takes you even, though. And then I could take a couple of horrors. How, not many. No, not many is right. Because remember, the next round, if you don't heal those horrors, which she does not heal horrors, then you will take a damage unless you fight something. That's true enough. I could get it plus one pretty easily. Boy, that's rough. That is really rough. All right. That is, uh, was that my third action? That was your third action. Okay. Monster turn. He's coming up here to me. He will engage with me. And I will take one damage. Okay. And one sanity. All right. I'm at four and one. Uh, Ruguru is exhausted, so it doesn't do anything. Right. Okay. But he's about to unexhaust. Yeah. So, so now in the upkeep phase. And we draw one card, take one resource. Oh, Stephen, I got a good card. Did you? I did. Oh, I got a good card, buddy. Is it dynamite? <laughs> it's better than dynamite. Of course, uh, we have no clues to attack anybody with dynamite. Um, okay. All right. Uh, Mythos phase. And go ahead and take an encounter card. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Ripples on the surface. Oh, no. Test will at three. For so each rich. point you fail by, take no. One oh. horror. If you're at a bayou location, which I am, you cannot commit cards to the skill test. Test will at three. My will is at four. I could throw something in from the blood pact, though. Or is that committing, that's not committing, committing cards from my hand. That's no. just, that's a different thing, right? Yeah, but you're going to take us up to four on the Doom track. Come on. Steven, come on. Uh, you're the lead investigator if that's what you want to do. Oh, that's totally what I want to do. Okay. Test will at three, because I'm only at plus one. And plus one gives me that's... only a 48% chance of success. Okay. Um, how come, ours are, point how come ours are different? How come your plus one gives you a, a 40 something and mine plus one gives me a 39% chance? Uh, because for. Actually, there's a good oh, reason. Because you this. have the skull. Because skulls are worth zero okay. for Jim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's really, it's really important to keep track of this stuff because, like, in your head, you can't. You can't keep track of all this in your yeah. head. Like, oh, yeah. There's yeah. no way. Yeah. You've got to. You've and you want to play smart, right? You want right. to just go, well, I'm going to boost myself up by seven. Yeah. And that's no point to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to um, put a doom on Such blood a pack. Mistake. How many of those can you do? Um, well, there's ones per test. Um, oh, geez. So, so that puts me at seven. The test is three. Minus one. All right. Oh, yay. I've got a slime-covered dole, and I'm going to draw a card, and I get a dark young host. Oh, All right, dark a monster, young dark of young. Yep, victory of one. Spawn any bayou location. Uh, it has forced when one or more clues are placed on dark young host location. Place those clues on the dark young host. Forced when dark young host is defeated. Move all clues on the dark young host to its location. What? Say that five so, more times slow. When dark, so when one or more clues are placed on dark young host's location. Place those clues on the dark young host. So if this guy okay. comes down here, which he's going to, okay, he's going to leave a clue there. He's and not. When he's he leaves, actually down oh, here. is he moving yeah. back there? Okay. So you know, if these two were to cross paths and he exited, and a clue was deposited on uh -huh. here, it would go on here. Likewise, this location. So what does it? What does it do that the clue goes on? That's right. Okay. Likewise, if this location revealed clues, it's not a bayou. But mm -hmm. if it was a bayou and it revealed clues, mm -hmm. then uh, those clues would go on to the dark young. Right. Okay. 
When the Dark Young Host is defeated, move all clues on Dark Young Host to its location. So wherever the Dark Young Host is at, those clues drop I at see. that location. Okay. I think we need to resign. No, oh, come on, man. So any Bayou it, location, where are we it, dropping this thing at? Does it have Hunter? It does not. It I'll does not stick have it down Bayou. there. Stick it down there. Remember, at this location, you cannot commit... Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can't play assets when we're in this location. Okay. Who's going to go first? I am going to go first, Stephen. Okay. I'm going to attempt to search the boneyard. So the test will at seven. I get plus one for this test for each horror taken as part of this ability's cost. I can take up to three horror. So testing will at seven. My will is currently four. If I take another doom. It's so bad. You are going to advance this agenda on at the, the end pack. of this turn. That puts or my sooner. doom up to seven. Guts puts my doom up to nine. And the blinding light card puts my doom up to ten. I'm at plus three for this. Okay. Plus three. You're taking too many risks. Now granted, this is a one shot game, doesn't affect the campaign, so who cares, right? Minus, Minus one. one. I did it. So we have to remember that we have, what, uh, found an ancient binding stone. Okay, we have found a binding stone. That was my, was that my first action? That was your first action. Didn't Our, you get a clue off of this too, or not? You just got the yet. binding no, I, stone. I got an ancient binding stone. Oh, okay. For my second action, I'm going to conduct a moonlight ritual, uh, which is an event that has no resource cost at all. You're also going to take a horror at the end of this. I can remove all doom from one card I control. Oh, that is so nice. Uh -huh, that's nice, Brad. Thank Good you. job. Yes. Get rid of those other two cards there. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Hey, now hey, I feel much better. Look at that. You knew all along when you said you had a good when you had a good yeah, uh, thing. Oh, I knew what whoo. I was doing there. Whoo. All right. Wow, we've done two of the three weird things. What do you think you can do that third weird thing? What do you mean? Oh, to get, get the this? doll. Yeah. The agility. Yeah. I mean, I can I can do it. I just need more resources. Because here's what I'm thinking, Stephen. Well, I've got to get rid of this dole first. So I, I just did a bizarre, nonsensical thing. Yeah. And if you go up there and do a bizarre, nonsensical thing, what, is, what does it say? Um, Seven is the agility. Investigators have found a strange doll. Yeah. So we have a binding stone and a doll. Yeah, and a net that we've already cast. Yeah. So I'm thinking... And what do we have to do to advance the act? Well, so we have two objectives. We could destroy the beast, mm -hmm. or maybe there's another way. Okay. While an investigator is engaged with the Rougarou, he or she may choose to advance. We have to be engaged with it, so we still have to get a clue. And engage with it. Yeah. So you got to get a clue. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking you got to get the doll, and maybe we use the doll... Okay. Somehow. Or your bone crushing thing. It's a binding stone. Right. It's not a bone crushing thing. It's a binding stone. Any stone can you think be maybe a bone crushing You think maybe thing. it's one? Okay, now. It's one or the other. Or maybe it's something else because we still have two locations but now here's here that an, we haven't investigated. Well, here's an interesting thing, though. Oh, that's right, because... But there, there are... Okay, sorry folks at home for this digression, but I've got to do it. So you said that there were some locations... That are not in play at all? They are all in play now. They're all in play yeah, now. Remember at the beginning of the game we had this location. Those other two locations were oh. out of play over here. Okay, I thought then, you set aside Then in the something. turn one, okay. in your very first action, second action, you revealed the rest of the board. Okay, okay. Which okay. should have taken a while. A while to yeah. reveal. Yeah, okay. All right, so I think you're right. I think we need to explore these other things. I think you need to get the doll. Okay. And... Okay, so here's what we'll do. Let me get rid of this dole. 
This thing does not have a prey. It's going to sit there. Right. Okay. The Ruguru is moving back down to its base camp where it started. It's right. going to drop some clues along the way. Right. After I get rid of this, which should be two turns, two actions, I will move up here. No. Uh, my third, this is what I'll do. My third action will be to exhaust old lady, get two resources from her. Because I need resources to bump up. Okay. Uh, Oh, that's to great. To bump up the skills. Yeah, yeah. Then in my next turn, I'll move up here, investigate, get that thing. Okay. Move back here, kill the old lady, drive her insane, and heal up. Let's let's go even one further. Well, how close are you to taking enough damage to die? Two hit points away. Because you could take one damage. No, I can't. Okay. And also remember, you've got a discard a skill card when you leave that location. Uh, that's okay, because I have no skill cards in my hand. Okay, all right. All right, uh, so my turn, right? Are you done? Um, no, you're not done yet. No, I've go... only done like two actions. Okay, you got a third action left. I do have a third action left. Do you have a third action? I do. Or, I mean, one I... action or two actions left? Did I... You got rid of something over there, right? No, your first action yeah. was to do this. My first action was to, to do that. And your second action second was to, action clear, was to that clear the blood okay. pact. So All my right. so third, third action, action, we're going to spend four resources. I'm going to get another spell, the Rite of Seeking. Okay. Oh, I have that one too. Yeah, it's a good one. It is. Uses three charges. I can investigate using my will instead of my intellect. And if I succeed, I discover one additional clue. So I'll get to this. Uh, there won't be a second clue there yet. But. Uh, well, the Ruguru will move in. Yeah, but he won't move out. So. He won't move out. That's all right. We don't need more than one clue. Okay, my turn. I'm yep. going to attack. So I'm going to use my Shriveling spell. Uh, fight. I'm going to be using my intellect, or my, sorry, my willpower, which gives me four. It's, I'm up by two. I'm in a bayou. Does shriveling give you plus one to your will or anything like that? Uh, shriveling, um, no, I'm using my intellect, oh. I'm sorry, my willpower instead of my fight, instead okay. of my combat, okay. and it deals plus one damage. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm up by two, that's a 57% chance in the bayou, right? Because does this boost anybody? Nope. Okay. Oh. Shoot, we missed something here. What's that? When the slime-covered dole enters a location, which it did, each investigator at that location takes one horror. I, I actually, must have taken a horror. I thought you did that. I actually. must have, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, or did you take that horror as part of a set of damage earlier? I don't think so. Okay, I, I don't think so either. I think you actually did that. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yes, okay, let's say we did. If I missed it, it's only cheating if, if you get caught. Um, okay, so I'm up by two. That's a 65% chance of success. I can hit it for two damage. I'm going to go ahead and spend a resource and pump up my... Oh, I can't pump up my... Yeah, I can't pump up my Wait, intellect with Dig Deep to pump me up by three. You mean your will? Yes, my okay. willpower by up to three. Okay. So I'm at three. You're not going to need that resource for your agility later? I will, but don't, don't worry. Okay, all right. Totally worried. No, you don't have to, because after I kill this, I'm going to exhaust her for two resources. Okay, all right. Even on the next round, I could exhaust her for two more resources and kill her instead of taking the health. No, that's true. Okay. So I'm up by... So I'm at... I'm at... Well, you know what? Maybe I didn't have to spend that, because its fight is only two. So you're up by... I was up by two. I'm up by three now. Yeah, I'm up by three right now. Yeah. Three is better than two. Yeah. And that's too bad because I hit four. Minus four. So that fails. Does it have retaliate? No, it does not. That's good. All right. I'm going to spend my shriveling. For your second action. For my second action. Okay. That'll put me up to four. I wonder if I can use Duke. Fight. You attack with your base. Um, oh, no. That doesn't work. No. Okay. So I'm at four. Yeah, I have no more resources to boost that up, so I'm beating it by two. 
zero. Got it. So I cause two damage to it. All right. That was your yeah, second action. That's my second action. My third action, I'm not going to be able to get to do what I want to do. But for my third action, I'm going to exhaust Duke, attack with my base uh, uh, fight at four, and it'll also deal an extra damage. That's the only thing I can do at the moment. Okay. So I'm up by two. All right. And I get a... Cultist. Minus two. If the Rougarou is in your location, reveal another token. So the Rougarou is in my location. So it's a minus two. Wait. No. Minus two. If the Rougarou is in your location, reveal another token. Minus five. Oh. Poop. All right. Poop indeed. That was my third turn. All right. Okay, monster's turn. Monster's attack. I take one health and one sanity. Oh, you're in a rough spot. I am. We can do this. Uh, Rougarou moves. So he's no longer at my location, but it does drop a clue there. Uh, I Okay, I already took one, one and one. This guy stays here, and he's pretty badass, so we don't really want to engage him. Uh, no other monsters, so now we unexhaust everybody. Okay. And we take one card and get one resource. All right. Ah. What? No, wouldn't have helped. Okay. Boy, this is brutal. Yeah. I wish I could give you a card. Well, you're not in my location. Okay. And I still couldn't give you a card even if I was. Uh, monster phase is over. Yep. Uh, so now it's it is the mythos. Mythos. And go ahead and take a take a one, two, three, four, five. An encounter six, card. Hey, spectral mist. Revelation Great. attached to a bayou location. Limit one per location. Each skill test performed at attached location gets plus one difficulty. Yeah, let's put it over here. Yep. We're never coming over here again. No, I'm not going back there ever again. All right. Your card. I get on the prowl, surge, revelation. Find a non-bayou location with the fewest clues in it. Move the Rougarou one location at a time until it enters that location. So it's got to move here. There, yep. Or it moves over here. No, make it there. Okay. So go ahead and move it, right? No. When it... I mean, I think it moves. Find a non-bayou location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Rougarou one location at a time until it enters that location. So it's got to move. No, I mean, I think you, on its move action. Oh. We've been playing it on its move action. Oh, that's why I think it's not. I don't think that was done correctly. You think we've got too few clues on the board? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the prowl, surge. Find a non-bayou location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Rougarou one location at a time until it enters that location. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say move the Rougarou. Holy crap, three in a row? Dude, I shuffled those. Spectral Mist, attached to a bayou location, limit one per location. Yeah, but that's going to hurt my... Each skill test performed oh, attached yeah. location gets okay. plus one difficulty. All right, put it down here. Ugh, all right, well. Yeah, because we have to... Isn't You have to keep doing surge until you end, Yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, Boy, we, I mean, we've really messed ourselves up if we were supposed to be I think moving. you're supposed to be moving it oh, well. each time until it gets to that location. Well, the the grim rule is when in doubt, do it the thing that hurts you most. Yeah. That hurts us most. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. well. Okay. Uh, would you like to go? Do you have to do something when you're trying to exit that bayou? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. You cannot heal horror or cancel horror. All right. There. Would you like to find a clue? I would not. And also, what's your horror at? My horror is at four. I have a potential of eight, so I'm... Oh, okay, so you're okay. I can take four more horror and four more damage. At least four more turns. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the Ruger is headed this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go this way. I still don't have a clue, do I? It's going to take you an extra, yeah. extra one to find that one. So I'm going to go down here. Okay. Ritual Grounds. Forced. After you end your turn at Ritual Grounds, draw one card and take one horror. Oh, you don't so want to do that. Shroud there is two. 
And it's first action, second action, third action, move. Um, no, that was my first action. That was my first action. Okay. My second action is going to be to investigate. I'm going to investigate using the right of seeking. You don't want to use your crazy... Uh... My blood pact? Yeah. My blood pact affects my willpower and my fight. I could oh, okay. use it for this, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay. Um, so I investigate using will instead of lore. My will is at four, so I'm at plus two. I mean, do you think I should make it plus five? No. I could. I mean, you could. But you know what I'm going to do? Will you get extra clues? Here's what I'm going to do. Will you get extra clues if uh, you succeed? If I succeed, I discover one additional clue, yeah. So you'll get two clues, so that's probably worth it, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use guts. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, so... Did I use Guts before? I should have drawn a card when I used Guts before, but I forgot. Okay. So I'm at 4 plus 2 minus 2. Is, I'm still plus 4. And does your thingy give you an extra one? No. Okay. You're at plus 4? Yep. Minus 4, 0. Succeed. Good enough. I do get to draw an extra card for using Guts. And you get two clues. And I get two clues. Which means you can engage with that thing. Yeah, but I'm, okay, now this is the thing. I'm kind of, I kind of think we need the dolly. Okay. I'll, I'll go with you. I'll go with you on that. But you do not want to end your turn there. No. Unhallowed land. Yeah, shop negro. Que tu le demandes, verons descendendro. The world is your prey. Your bloodlust unending. Everyone we know who speaks French just cringe horribly. Sorry. Oh, is that what that was? I thought you were Cthulhu or Schleet or Rolla. No, was actually rah, supposed rah, to be. Rah. There was some French in there after the Ya, Ya, Shabnigro. I don't know French. I don't know French. There was, was no French. It was faux French. That was my, with a severe Cajun accent. Overgrown cairns. Spend two resources. Heal to horror as an action. Limit oh, once per go. game. Oh, once per game. So that's you that Sorry, needs to I, do that. I need to do that. I'll, be, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. These cairn stones were placed here centuries ago. Their purpose unknown. Clearly they were put there. No to... clues. Clearly they were put there to help us out. Yeah. And so you have to do what? Spend two resources? No, I just have to spend an action and oh, heal okay. to, to horror. All right. All right, for my first action... I'm going to exhaust Duke into my fight... You attack with your base fighting skill of four, and the attack deals plus one damage. So I'm up by two. And I'm going to spend a resource to pump that up by one. So I'm winning by three. Okay. Instant fail. That's my first action. Second action. No, uh, okay. Yeah. Second action. i got to do it. Yep. I'm going to use my Shiverling spell. I'm going to use my willpower, which is now at four, to its two. I'm beating it by two. I hate this game, Brad. <laughs> this is a brutal game. It is. It is. No! Minus six. Oh, come on. You got one more shot at this, Steven. One more shot. You Let's just threw your resource in there. Into the chaos bag. God, I cannot believe this. Oh. Worst luck ever. Let's go way down here and pull out a minus two. Zero even. Zero even. Dead. Good enough. Oh, Steven. Well, but that burned all my actions. Well. It's going to be one more turn of sitting and waiting. Actually, that kind of helps. All right, so uh, monster turn. So monster moves. Guru, Guru comes on down here. Leaves a clue behind. Some Guru spore. This one spore, just no hangs doubt. out. This okay. one does not have. All right. Uh, let's see. Any other monsters? No. So uh, now it's the upkeep phase. One card, card, one resource. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's where I'm at. Okay. Advance the mythos and encounter cards. It's a slime-covered doll. God dang it. 
Spawn at any non-bayou location. Prey, the person with the lowest remaining health. Yeah, I think I'll spawn him way down there. It's going to be a while before he gets to you. Uh, one, two turns. Well, it's going to be a while. If the enemy is non-elite. Okay. Oh, I'm at eight. Okay. Encounter card. Swamp Leech. It's got a fight of four. Ouch. And I've got no resources. <sighs> I'm not going to beat this thing. It does have a hit point of one. It has an evade of nothing. So what does that mean? It means you can evade it. Spawn at any bayou location. Oh. Leech cannot be evaded. Oh, leech cannot be evaded. That's what it means. Okay. Does it have hunter? Forced. No. When the swamp leech enters a non-bayou location, discard it. Well, just throw it down there and yeah, let it leech up here. The... At any bayou location, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Phew. All right. My turn. So the thing is, you could have it attached. The way that you get this one is, you can you can, if you were to enter a bayou location, it would attach to you. Yeah, and you have to go through bayou locations in this hub. Right. Except that we've completely you can't evade it. You can move. You take it. You take a damage. Yeah. You take one damage, but then the thing goes away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Okay. All right. Uh, we both did our encounters, so investigator turn. Okay. So here's the question. Do you think you can get the dolly this turn? I don't, but... Maybe. I've got a resource. I can get two more resources. So I'm going to exhaust her. I'm going to get two resources. Okay. That's first turn. Second turn, I'm going to move up here. Second uh, action. Second action, I can move up here. Um, I am testing my agility. All right, so my agility is at three. It's at seven. Three, I can get it to six. Seven. I can get it to seven is all that I could do. So why don't you sit tight, oh, take another... Take a, yeah, why, don't you, why don't you... How about instead of moving up there... I'm going to take a resource. You take a resource. And... Uh, yeah. There's your second action. You take a resource. No. Uh, first action, exhaust her. Take a re take two resources. Yeah. Second, second action, action, take, take a, resource. a resource. Third, Third action, action, take a resource. Take a resource. Yeah. Okay. I am done. Okay. She has one charge left if we've done that right. That's right. Okay, your turn there, Brad. All right. I... Oh, if I could get... Hmm. I don't think there's much point in going over to the ritual grounds. So let me, let me ask you something before we move on to your mm. turn. Would it be better to put in my right of seeking, which would instantly bump me up to four? Why would it bump you up to four, the right of seeking? Well, because it allows me to use my um, willpower instead of intellect. And for my, what? What would, what would you use an elect for? In, investigating. Oh, I'm doing an agility test. You're doing Sorry. an agility Never test. Mind. Yeah. Never mind. Never okay. Mind. It was like really confused. Sorry. Yeah, no. Oh, and I was supposed to... No, I haven't left that yet, so I'm going to have to get rid of a skill whenever I... Yeah. Which, surprisingly, I still have no skills. All right. Okay, your turn. I hope that doesn't Sorry. mean you can't leave there. Well, if that's the case, we were... You messed up a long time ago. Oh, no, that would be impossible. impossible. Yeah. I'm going to spend a resource, and I'm going to light some ritual candles. Okay. Because why not? Yeah, why not? Um, what does that do? Uh, if I get a skull cultist tablet or elder thing symbol... During a test I'm performing, I get plus one skill value for that test. Oh, okay. The wax tapers give off an eerie glow, and the flames move. Do you also take alive. the negative to those? Yeah. I, get all, I just get plus one skill. Oh, okay. Plus the token. Okay, all right. I, I kind of... Um, I don't need any resources. I'm actually reluctant to draw cards. Like, I don't think I need to do anything, but just tag take along with the Rougarou sure. and get ready to engage it and 
Yeah, hopefully. Hug it or whatever it is. Give hopefully. it a dolly or a binding. Providing stone. I don't have to move down there. Yeah. Um, so I think I'll just take a couple of resources. And you don't want to take any cards? I, I don't. Um, because weakness cards. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't want that. And then you're going to take a horror. Because I didn't do any damage to anything. But you can do something and heal some horrors. Why don't you do that? Heal some horrors. No, I do that once per game. Oh, I didn't do that yet, did I? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, instead of taking two resources, I'm going to use an action to spend two resources and heal two horrors. Okay, that's good. Okay. Awesome. All right. And then... Well, I guess then for my third action, I will use an emergency cash and gain three resources. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. All right. Monster turn. This one moves. This one stays. This one stays. That one stays. Yep. Okay, so no more monsters. Okay. Oh, you do have to take a horror, though. I do have to take a horror. Then we unexhaust. Okay. So unexhaust. Take a card and take a resource. Oh, nice. And then I'm over eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to get rid of some stuff. All right. So I'm going to, at this point, get rid of my old book of lore. Brad's favorite. It's a good one. It is a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm at eight cards now. Okay. Then... Um, we advance the mythos. Okay. Take an encounter. Insatiable bloodlust. This can't be good. Revelation. Attached to the Rougarou. The Rougarou gets plus one fight, plus one damage, plus one horror, and cannot be evaded. Forced. After the Rougarou takes damage, discard insatiable bloodlust. So he's got a fishing net. Insatiable Which means he can't list. retaliate, but he's still boosted everything up. Yeah, but he's still aloof, right? Yeah. Right, right? unless Insatiable Bloodlust yep. says no. Nope. nope. But still the thing aloof. is, we still have to engage with it. Yeah. Right, and then decide if we're going to go to the next thing. Yep. So get your get your. Well, you get. Well, a, I've got to do one of these cards. things, which is probably going to be a horrible thing, like a swamp leech. Sure. Wait. Yeah. Any bayou location. Oh, doesn't say one per. Okay. It's infested with leeches. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness we only found that out afterwards. <laughs> All right. Uh, my turn or your turn? Um, How about I go first? Because if I get first. something yeah. good, then... Yeah, okay, then can... so I'm going to exhaust her for the last time. Okay. Now, listen. And take two resources. Can you heal two? I can heal two if I want. But here's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. I'm, I've got eleven. All right. Get your two resources. Yeah. You want two resources? Yeah, I think two resources. You sure? Well, you're not going to need to heal anything, right? I mean, well, I'm at. I'm. I. I think we're about to end the game, one way or the other. Well, I'm at one health left. So if I take one damage, I don't see anything that's going to make you take damage. You go up here. Get this the, guy. Uh, this get, thing. That's he's not going around. He's not going to because you're leaving. Okay. But what if it says that I have to be in that area with it? Because now gone. she's dead. She's out of the she's game. She's gone, yeah. So if I can take two resources on that, or I can heal two things. Take two resources. Okay. I want you to get this dolly. All right. Because I've got a refrigerator that needs moving, and I definitely need okay. you to have a dolly. So that was my first action. My second action is I go over here. I have to get rid of one of my skills. I have no skills in my hand. Okay. I'm going to perform an agility test. Uh, so to do that, I guess I get rid of my shriveling too, but I'll just keep it there. Okay. I'm going to... I'm at... It's at seven. Mm -hmm. I'm at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm up by three. Okay, why don't you go up by four? Four, five, 
six. You're up by six. I am up by six. Doesn't get much better than that, dude. Okay, he said. Half minus one. All right. All right, so I got a dolly. You've got a dolly. All right. Uh, so uh, I did burn two cards that had agilities that boosted me by two on that, just so people right. know. Very good. Um, I have no resources left, but I do now have a... If you succeed... Okay, so try to break into a nearby greenhouse and take a look around. I did. Hey, broke into this greenhouse. Hope nobody woke and heard the sound of breaking glass. If you succeed, remember that the, that the investigators, so we as a group, have found a strange doll of trailed blood and mangled flesh led you here. You suspect this is no ordinary garden. All right, so that was my first action. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take two resources. That was or, your... No, that was, that was like your third action, dude. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, because you visited the Lady Old Esprit, lady. you moved, moved and then, and then okay. you did the right. thing. You're done. Yep, I am done. All right, I'm going to spend a clue. All right, because it is still one clue, right? I'm going to engage okay. with the Rougarou. All right, it's got bloodlust on it. And then we're going to do this alternate thing. Maybe there's another way. While an investigator is engaged with the Rougarou, he or she may choose to advance. Limit once per phase. I choose to advance. Oh, so we can do this multiple times. I don't know. It says once per phase. That's what it says. Conversing with a creature is a daunting task. Whenever it is cornered, it bellows and attacks like a feral beast. If there's still some semblance of humanity left inside the creature, it's buried deep with, beneath the rage and bloodlust of the curse. If each of the following requirements are met, proceed to R3. Otherwise, flip this act back to its A side. Oh, okay. So you're going to okay. do it. All right. Uh, we must learn more about the curse. The investigators must have four clues as a group. We do not. We have, we have one, one clue, clue as a group. Darn it. Oh, we're in trouble, dude. We must keep it contained. The Rougarou must have a trap card attached to it. Oh, but has the net. Is that a trap no, card? No, it's not a trap card. Oh, crud. It is a trap card. It is a trap card. We must protect ourselves. The Rougarou must have at least one damage on it. Oh, one damage per investigator, so two. Oh, it must have, we must have four clues per investigator as a group. We need to have eight clues. For what? We have to have eight clues? Yeah, yeah. The investigators must have four clues per investigator as a group. That is, we must learn more about the curse. Uh, we must protect ourselves. It must have at least one damage per investigator on it. We must calm it down. The investigators must have either found a binding stone or found a strange doll. I say we go to R2. Screw this. That's too hard. R2 is defeat the Rougarou. Oh, what's R1? What was R1? There was one of these that was just like... R1 resign. is resign. This thing's too, too, too much. I mean, so first of all, we have to... Listen to this. Just to engage it, mm -hmm. we have to have a clue. Okay. All right? All then right. we have to attack it and deal two damage to it. Well, I'm engaged with it now. Right. Oh, and it's going to kill you. Yes, because it is engaged with you. Oh, it's possible, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's bloodlust. It is engaged, right? So, okay, so um, we have to have a clue to engage with it, okay. which we are. All right. We have to damage it twice. We so we have to hit it, and its hit is right now is what? Um, its hit is now four because it's it has insatiable bloodlust. And we have to have eight clues in order to do this, right? Right. Okay, so it's got the trap. Yeah, so we should have been moving it around, I bet. Because yeah. there are just not enough clues on the board to right. even do this. Right. Make sure you put a note on the screen that says, we're screwing this up. We really should be moving this guy. Yes, please, wait for Steven to get please, angry until Brad is doing do this, this wrong. Please don't do this like we're doing it. Don't listen to Brad. Oh. Okay. So we're just going to have to resign because it is now engaged with you. You're going to have to resign. Can you move? It doesn't have retaliate. It doesn't provoke an opportunity it to attack. Does, does totally it totally provokes an opportunity oh, to attack. Okay. Yeah. And moving doesn't disengage it. And I cannot, uh, I cannot evade it. Oh, because it's got the bloodlust on it? It says bloodlust. How does that get rid of it? 
I have to damage it. Well, you've got two more turns. Okay. Damage it. Well, I can damage the hell of it, actually. Heck out of it. Might as well. I have two more actions, huh? Yeah. Because maybe you can at least get some of the damage. I mean... You're going to damage it. It's going to damage you. You're going to die, right? Not on the first time. First time it hits you, will you die? Uh, no, 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 no. After the Ruguru takes uh, one damage per investigator during a single phase, find the location that's farthest from all investigators, move the Ruguru one location at a time until it enters that location. So damage it twice and it'll disengage with you and move away. So I can do two and damage. Dropping a dropping a clue at, in the process. All right. Maybe there's still time. Maybe we can do this. Except well, for except this for thing. thing. I'm just going to kill you soon. It's not going to kill well, me. Well, you can actually move right there and then you can resign. Yeah, I can resign. But okay. the thing is, it's not going to kill me. I mean, if we no, honestly think that me. we can get clues. So let's have it move up here. Let's have the Rougarou move no, up it's here. No, it's going to move furthest from all investigators. It's going to move down there. I don't think uh, we see leech chance. zone. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, just damage it so it doesn't. All right. So I'm it runs. Because if, yeah. if you can hit two damage, it'll run. All right. It'll disengage from you, correct? Yes. Yeah, so do that. Okay, so I'm going to give Five. myself plus three to my fight. Okay. So that puts me at six. Um, oh, wait, I've still got the Song of the Dead. Um, don't, don't, don't play feels so good. Okay, I'm going to boost my will. <laughs> okay. I will spend the last charge on Song of the Dead. Um, I get plus one will for that, so I'm at five, eight. My will, or my fight is at eight. Its fight is at three plus one, so four. So I'm up by four. Okay. I did one damage to it. All right. Now attack it again. All right. I do not have Song of the Dead anymore. Can you recharge that? Can emergency cash recharge that? No. Oh, okay. No. I am going to. Let's see. Yeah, I'll use my blood pact again. That'll that'll, that'll advance, advance the, the agenda. agenda. So what? At what this point, yeah, because yeah. we've still got a whole other agenda yeah. to go. Okay. Blood okay. pact. Advance so that the agenda. Happens automatically. All right. And I'll let you read that since you're the All one. Right. A uh, clash of thunder roars through the sky, and you reel in pain from the sudden explosion of noise. Your vision doubles, and bile leaps up your throat. A lone howl returns the call of the sky, echoing throughout the bayou. You wrench yourself off the muddy ground and find your bearings, unable to shake the feeling that you're running out of time. Shuffle all copies of On the Prowl from the Encounter discard pile into the Encounter deck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them, because I had like three yeah, in a row. Yeah, three in a row. It's probably all Which, of them. All right. Uh, well, I don't know. Double check. That's it. Okay. If the Rougarou is in play, find a non-Bayou location with the fewest clues on it. Move the Rougarou one location at a time until it enters that location. If the Rougarou is not in play after advance... Wait, does the Doom advances as soon as it yeah. falls? We mm -hmm. don't have to check for right. that, right? Nope. Okay. All right. If the Rougarou is not in play, so now does that mean... I say that it disengages with you and moves. You say That's it how moves. I read it. Okay. I mean, that would make the most sense. It would make the most sense. I mean, it doesn't, it, it's, it's convenient to get me out of this fight. Because otherwise we are wasting time waiting for the number of clues to drop. Because the only way we can get clues is for the Rougarou to be running around. You don't yeah. clear those two off. Those two so stay do, on there. No, the agenda advanced. Oh, okay. All doom washes okay. away when the agenda advances. All right. Um, Read the new agenda. Or actually, maybe we should move it let's first. Let's move him. Okay. So he's going to move. Right. He gets rid of this. This is gone because he took damage. Okay. Uh, did he take enough Just, damage? Yeah, any damage okay. at all will do that. Okay. So he's going to move um, up here, let's okay. say. So now he's going to have to move here. He's going to move here. He's going to leave he a, clue a clue behind here. All right. That's, that's how I interpret it. Yeah. Because otherwise, literally, there would be not enough clues. Because none of these locations have clues. Well, this one has two. But there's not enough... Uh, yeah. Spawn points really to do not. that. Yeah. 
All right. The curse spreads. Tendrils of slime ooze from the bogs, crawling over tree roots and grasping at you as you pass. The air hangs heavy with a noxious heat. You feel as though you are sinking, sinking deep into the bayou, sinking beneath the heaviness of the black sky and the rank mist. Forced, at the end of the investigation phase, if the Rougarou is not engaged with an investigator, add one doom to the agenda. Okay. Well, oh, man. all right. That's crazy. Uh, so you still have one more action. No, I think my action was... Nope. You attacked it? You no, and you um, then I started you engaged to... it. You attacked it once. Yeah, but it's for this skill test, so oh, I had okay. to call out the skill oh, test right, right, to right. fight. Okay, so that's okay. That's the thing. So that's my third action. I did not get to monster turn. So the Rougarou has to move here now, dropping yeah. another clue there. This one also moves there. Moves there. Nobody attacks. Oh boy, we really set ourselves up bad here. Well, I think we're done here. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Upkeep phase. Okay, I'm going to draw a card and take a resource. Okay. Okay. It's now in. Oh, Yo, um, yeah. Check your hands. One, Plenty. two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And now uh, one on the agenda. Yep. Doom there. Yep. And an encounter card. All right. Because we still have to do that. Ripples on the surface. Oh, Revelation. No. Test will at three. For each point you fail by, take one horror. If you're at a Bayou location, I cannot. I'm not. I cannot commit cards to the skill test. Um, my will is four. I will throw in another copy of Ritual Candles to make it five. That puts me at plus two. Plus one. All right. Good job. Ripples on the surface do not horrify me. But I will get dragged under. Oh, yes, you Test will. Test my agility at three. If you fail, add dragged under to your threat area. <laughs> oh, God, you're going to die. Uh, you're not I gonna... could. You're not going to really make could. it. You're not going to make it to the place that's going to let um, you resign. Well, my agility is at three. It's at three. I oh boy, Stephen, why don't you spend all twenty of your? No, you've got one resource left. I know. That's only going to put me up by one. You got no cards. No. Minus five. You leave your current location, take two damage, discard, dragged under. I will die. I will oh, be dead. Oh, you're going to die, Stephen. I could have resigned can, a long time ago. I don't think I can get to you. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Okay, how about this? We're the worst at this game. End of your turn. Okay. Is there a way to... There's no way to get rid of that except for... Oh! What? What? Okay. What? Duh, Stephen. What? Duke has health and sanity. <gasps> Duke! I could have been letting my dog take a beating for me. Oh, Duke. Okay, so everything's cool. All right, are we ready to go into the investigator phase? Yes. Okay, I'm going to move out of my location. Wait, wait, do we both? Yeah, we both took cards, okay. Move out of my location. All right. I'm going to take Two damage. two damage. But Duke, Duke is going to get two dragged damage under. and he's going Aww. to die. Poor Duke. Thank Aww. you, Duke. Um, well, that beautiful action, bean footage. For my second action, Brad, yeah. I'm going to gain three resources. Because why not? Okay. Yeah. And for my fourth action, I'm resigning from this game. <laughs> you mean your third action? Third action. Now, does that mean we both resign? You no. You still have to get over there, no, right? I've still, got to, I've still got to get over there. I die. Oh, is there no resigns down here? No, the only other resign is over there. Oh, now he's coming after you, dude. He is. Oh, I thought we both resigned. Nope. Ah, poor Duke. Sorry, Duke. I Sorry. love you, Duke. All right. Maybe Duke will fight again. For my first action, oh. I'm going to spend a resource. I'm going to get the Arcane Initiate. Wait, does he have... Prey. So the minute you enter here, yeah. he's going to engage with you. you will. Oh, no, no, no. You don't even have to enter here. No, you can go here, go here, go no, here. No, because if I go there, then that, then those guys will engage me. Oh, right. <laughs> All 
does it automatically engage you? Does yeah, as soon as you, yeah, as soon as okay. you, any active thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of the slime-colored dole, slime-covered dole. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. You know, if we played this a second time, we could totally beat it, if we knew what we were doing. We should have played this once before, but... I, you know, uh, so a lot of people will will wonder that. So there is... There is a lot of replayability in this game because there's yeah. randomness. Because there's a whole location that was taken out of the game that yeah. would go into the game, and our starting location would randomly change as well. Um, so there's that. So we, the only thing we know is the resolution. Yeah. Right. Well, like, so we know stuff like we wasted a lot of time getting the doll when we already had the binding. We stone. only needed one of we those. Only right. One of those. So yeah, we could have, and then we, I think we messed up with the move action. Maybe yeah. one of our viewers will let us know and on that. If we, when but we, I think there's enough replayability. Oh, yeah. To where we could I think that we have a plan for it, and yeah. then it'll backfire. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, Brad, go ahead and let's do your turns. All right, so for my second action, I got the Arcane Initiate out. I'm going to exhaust the Arcane Initiate and search the top three cards of my deck for a spell. Instead of just moving and engaging? and That's just a, that's not even oh, an action, that's, a that's just action. a thing. Okay. Um, I have a spell. And draw it. And then I shuffle my deck. Okay. I could have stayed alive, Brad, instead of resigning. I could have stayed alive. Uh huh. And then drew this thing to me, and I could still resign from the game. That's okay. It's and okay. that would have given you a chance to get up to me. It's okay. Hey, look, you look. You got to. You got to. I stay thought in resigning character. was every. We all resigned. No, no. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. You got to stay in character. I mean, any 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 guy who would throw his dog. I didn't swamp. throw my dog into the swamp. The swamp took my dog. <laughs> I'm upset about this. <laughs> Poor Duke. I mean, I've never played Ash Can Pete before in any campaign anywhere. Not Mansions of Madness, not Elder Sign, not so you uh, killed, Eldritch Horror. You killed Duke on your first opportunity. I didn't kill Duke. The swamp killed Duke. Man, that's harsh. I'm innocent. I'm jumping a train back to Arkham. All right, I'm going to move here. That's one action, right? First action? Yeah. And then I will move here and these slime covered hole oh, you know what you could still engage me I'm gonna take a whore I think I'm supposed to take no I wouldn't take a last game last act no take hey listen hmm. can you still take damage yeah I'm, so just do your final move take an attack of opportunity and then move. oh you did something down there I thought was a free action well that was a free action but I drew her card I pulled put her oh, into play okay. moved and moved Okay. Yeah. I thought you said actions. it was a, f a free action. This was a free action. Playing her card was an action. Oh, okay. Using her. Out of your hand. Okay. Was, yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yep. All right. Um, so, monsters. Turn. Monster turn. So, how much damage? Monsters, are you gonna take? I'm going to take uh, one and one. Are okay. you dead? No. No. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is Steven. just a mist. It's just a These spectral don't do mist. anything. No. Oh, I'm dragged under. That's gone. All right. Okay, then um, monster turn, then it's upkeep phase. All right, draw a card. Get a resource and exhaust your card over there. Hmm, that would have been nice a long time ago. All right, get a resource. All right, now. And then uh, we'll add a doom onto the doom, doom track. Oh, this is. Arcane Initiate gets a Doom when she enters play. Okay. All right. And dragged under. Oh, boo. <laughs> Do you have two health? I got it. Test agility at three. If you fail, add dragged under to your threat area. I can't help you. I don't need you to help me. I don't have any agilities. You made me spend them all. Actually, I'm going to use my Word of Protection. I can play when I draw a non-weakness treachery card. Ha-ha. Ha ha ha! Uh, my word of protection protected me from being dragged under. So I wonder when you resign, do all your resources drop or not? Well, you're done. I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? You've well, maybe it might mean something for you. You've gone to some other location. I will move here. The slime-covered dole will take its attack of opportunity. And you also oh, so you beat that agility score, right? No, I uh, I use my word of protection oh, to get rid of it. Rid of okay. it. And for my second action here at Broadmoor, I am going to resign. We can't catch the beast. Well, thank goodness you're still I, alive. I make Brad. my way to safety, my letting the beast roam free. All right. Do not read until the end of the scenario. If no resolution is reached, each investigator resigned or was de defeated, go to resolution one. 
Somehow, you manage to make it back safely before daybreak, resting until late in the afternoon. It isn't until you seek out Lady Espery the next day that you realize who last night's victim was. With a heavy heart and unshakable dread, you chose to bury her body. She died. Well, yeah, because you drove her insane. She must have wandered into, yeah. the, into the... With a heavy heart and an him. unshakable dread, you chose to bury her body instead of uh, contacting the authorities. The less people who delve this deep into the bayou, the better. In your campaign log, which we don't have to because this was not part of a campaign, record that the Rougarou continues to haunt the bayou. I guess we could. I mean, I don't think it has any. There's no campaign log that records it. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory value of each card in the victory pile. I guess we should have looked to see if any of those monsters we killed had victory points. No, they're points. done. Because this one had a victory point. Yeah. Oh, we got a clean okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so resolution two, resolution three... Wow, well, we um, we got we our... certainly played that game. ...handed to us but poorly. It's... it's um, No, this is pretty... I think... It's a rough game. Especially in the standard mode, I think it's really tough because you have, like, fives and four fives and sixes yeah. in here. Now, you've only got one five, one six um, that I think really amp it up. And this particular campaign is pretty brutal with your, um, your curse tokens. Yeah. And so I think that that is a, that is a bit of a problem, too. And I, I like not knowing going yeah. into the game. Yeah. I mean, I, I intentionally don't look ahead at the cards to see, you know, what the agenda or anything is. I know some people might do that, but I just, I just like this anticipation of we're running through the bayou and yeah. things are happening and monsters are popping out and all that stuff. Um, but you're right, at, at the standard mode, this is a very hard game to beat, much like any other Arkham game that Fantasy Flight puts out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, at the same time, though, this is my new obsession. I mean, if it, if it, <laughs> if it didn't take so long to get Mansions of Madness 2.0 out yeah. and set up, then, uh, you know, it would still be my number one. But this is easy to set up, surprisingly. Um, and in, in, in the campaign mode, it's easy to set up. It's very portable. Uh, the new adventures are coming out all the time. I really like this game. I do too. I want. I mean, so we just got creamed at this. I want to do it again. And so here's the other thing yeah. too: is um, I have never, as I said, I've never played Ash Pete before. I kind of put together my deck based on the starter deck plus what some people online had said. Hey, if you're going to upgrade, here's the cards you need to upgrade in this order. And so I did that uh, and kind of uh, managed the deck a little bit better. There were a couple of cards that didn't come out that I really wanted to come out and see how they interacted, especially with. Because Duke, I don't think, counts toward the number of... Oh no, did I not put these guys into my deck? I hope I didn't. Um, nope, there he is. Peter Silvestri. Um, because I think Duke doesn't count towards the number of uh, allies that I have. Hmm. And so I can put other allies into play. Um, so I think I would like to play... And I'm going to keep this deck as is. I think I would like to pay, play Ashcan Pete again in the future. Yeah. Have you played your guy before? Um, I, it seems like I... I thought, I I thought I one time when we were playing the very first game that we played of Arkham Horror. I think I played, yeah. The, whatever the first campaign the, is. Yeah, whatever the Night of the Zealot or something. Night of the Zealot. Yeah. I think you yeah. played I think I did. that guy. Yeah. Um, but interestingly, I didn't really get the character until this time. And we played three games. Oh, you didn't understand it? Well, because because suddenly, and I think it's it's actually the purple cards, and it's a little bit about a, about Jim, but this business of Jim really kind of playing with the dark side. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know, seriously. I mean, you had a great combo with yeah. that. Let me pump up the yeah. the uh, agenda uh, Doom Track. Yeah, and we're just going to keep doing nasty, terrible things, and then it's going to be okay. But, but we always got to kind of have one toe into the darkness there. And I didn't understand that about this character until I had, and maybe it has something to do with this deck I put together for this time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But um, that was really fun. I just, boy, I enjoy this game. I enjoy this game even when it creams me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. and the other thing, too, is if you want to play this game, you don't have to play it. I mean, this is a game that's designed for one to four players. If you're going to play with four players, you need two basic sets. Uh, of the game so that you can have enough cards for four people to play. Uh, or like Brad and I do, he has his set, I've got my set, and so we can just do whatever we want with it. Um, the other thing is there is a standalone mode for every 
portion of this campaign. So you can go through every module, everything, and just play by yourself. Nothing wrong with playing by yourself. Uh, because I think that there's a lot of fun in that. I would say, though, that if you're going to play in single player mode, use the easy setting. Because even at the easy setting in single player mode, I think that's going to be really hard. Because you're playing know, with know. one character in single player mode. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not sure. I have not played enough single player of this. I mean, I played a couple of, I played through Night of the Zealot single player, mm -hmm. but but nothing else. Now, uh, as you said, this is a print on demand. Right. We were talking about this earlier, and I will say this about the print on demand. And I don't know why. I guess I don't understand Fantasy Flight's print on demand system, uh, because I can go into my friendly local gaming shop, and these are sitting on the shelf. Right. Right. Um, and it's not like I'm calling up Fantasy Flight and saying, Fantasy Flight, please print me out one of these and ship it to me stat, and it's here next day, right? Right. I mean, I I'm sure you can, but the card quality on these print-on-demand versions is far inferior it to is. It is. the regular games. Yeah. And you don't have to... You, so we're specifically playing uh, Night of the Ruguru because it is standalone. It doesn't reveal anything... Uh, about the greater campaign story that's going on either in Night of the Zealot or the Dunwich Legacy. So that's why we chose to do this one. But yeah, these cards are really inferior. So I, I think the difference is the other cards are, I believe, printed in China or Europe. Probably oh, okay. printed in China. And they printed in... So when they mm -hmm. sell out and sort of nationally, mm -hmm. then there's another print run. Oh, okay. And so that print run has to be shipped over. So there's like one print run, and then there's a second print run. And they sell out almost instantly. So if you track on Fantasy Flight, these, uh, I think, can be printed like within a week. Like if Fantasy Flight were to run out and you were to submit an order, you might have to wait a little bit, but they can get it for you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the other stuff, if you don't get those right away, they, they sell out if you're in the campaign mode. Because this is yeah. a popular game. I mean, yeah. this is 2017. The game has been out since October, November of 2016, something like, something like that. So it's been out for, uh, as of this recording, it's been out for about eight months, nine months. Uh, I think when the year ends, uh, you know, when the full year ends, this game is very popular. And usually within the first day or two that the new module is released, they're sold out. Yeah. And so if you don't order it or pre-order it, uh, you are going to be screwed, and that means you may never get to advance your campaign unless you go to eBay and pay buku bucks. Right. Uh, well, but but by that same token, they're, they just start a new print run of those. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So if you notice, the stuff that's sold out is almost always marked as you know, in print. Right, like right. They just turn right around and put it in print in China again. Anything else you want to say about this game? I mean, there are some, there's a lot of stuff in play, so at times it can get confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing. I think, um, you know, I guess I would ask, be forgiving of us when there's, we're confused about stuff uh, because we don't look ahead and we don't try to do stuff. Yeah. And also be forgiving of yourself if you play this game and you're like, oh, I just can't, like, at a certain point, you just kind of got to go with it. You know, you just got to say, okay, this is how I think I should do this. Mm -hmm. The grim rule is always pick the worst possible outcome for yourself if right, you're right. ever, like, kind of, but the thing is, Oh, and just, we did that the very first yeah. time that we played this game. We screwed up big time, and we had to go Grim Rule, yeah. which screwed us for the rest of the night of the Zealot. Yeah, and I, I think basically just at a certain point, just move the game forward. It's just a game. Um, you know, it's not a very puzzly kind of game. It's just it's just have fun and have the adventure. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit of strategy, a little bit of strategy, but mostly it's how can you build your deck? Mm -hmm. uh, and you can only build your deck a certain way. You create a starter deck, and then if you want to change things out, you have to you have to spend your experience points on that. So, so a little bit of it is based on these victory points that some of these cards have that you get if you defeat or win the campaign or anything like that. You know, if you know the the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game, that has oh, a lot right, of right. that is a lot of front end deck building strategy. So mm -hmm. if you build your deck wrong, you're out of luck. Right. And you've really got to spend a lot of effort in the front end of that. This game not so much so. Build your deck. And the effort is on the back end. How can you make your deck work given the circumstances you're in at this moment and those circumstances change? And that's part of the business of not checking it out beforehand. There's no, mm -hmm. this isn't about how awesome of a deck you can build. Uh, kind of. Well, a little bit. I mean, build a cool deck, but but the real action is on the back end of it. It's as yeah, you're yeah, playing yeah. because yeah, yeah. the situation is always dynamic, always changing. Oh, yeah. And and I, I love how Fantasy Flight has put a lot of randomness into this. Yeah. Like, like I said, there's another location that we didn't 
that we didn't put into play because the game says, hey, at random, take one out of the game. And yeah. then at random, pick a location and put it into play as your starting location. So we could have ended up down here. So there was, a, there was a whole location set that we didn't play with. Right. Okay. And right. not because of anything that yeah. we messed up on, because set literally set. it okay. says in the setup. Okay. That's why I thought you set, said earlier, and then I four, got confused. Set up four locations, yeah. randomly pick one, remove it from the game okay. completely. Okay. Take Then randomly pick one. That will be your starting location. Set the other two aside until they're called for. Okay, all right. Which is what we did. So there was some location. There is that, another that location that we have seen. never even seen. Okay. That, if you're playing it, that could be your starting location. It could be, you wow. know, location yeah. down here. Yeah. So it's it's good. And I yeah. and the other thing is this game is I'm I'm really impressed with how balanced the game is. I mean, yes, the token bag screws you over more times than not. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to guarantee you that that other location had a trap attached to it. You think so? I, I'm almost positive it had yeah. a, a trap because oh, so two of the, the there's a good chance, things, there's yeah. a good chance that this one never would have come into play and we never would have had that net. Yeah, that's true. And that's a trap. And based on resolution yeah. three, you have to have a you trap. Have to have a trap, yeah. So there would have been another trap in play probably at that location. Yeah. So I, I like this game a lot, and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this game, listeners. And in fact, uh, in 2018... Or, or viewers. Or viewers, listeners, wherever <laughs> you may be. Some people I know just turn it on and listen in the background. But here's what's going to happen. In 2018, uh, well after the entire Dunwich Legacy is released, so that we're not really super spoiling anything, in 2018, Brad and I are going to sit down and we are going to run through the Dunwich Legacy with our characters, uh, Skids O'Toole and Daisy... Daisy Walker. Daisy Walker will be our characters. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and you can have some input on how this game is played. Go over to patreon.com slash major spoilers, and when you sign up, uh, you can get access to a poll that we have created that asks you to say how we play this game. Do we play it on easy? Do we play it on normal? Do we play it on hard? It's going to be up to you to... Uh, vote for that for our patron members, patreon.com slash major spoilers. So uh, go sign up, help us out, help keep shows like this going so that we can entertain you. And uh, I can't wait till 2018. That's how far ahead we are in recording and getting these games uh, out to you. Because uh, I think Dunwich Legacy is going to be a lot of fun, Brad. I think so. All right. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and uh, tune in next time. And until then, remember, it's not cheating if you don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs>